Sewing has been part of the great British heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. Okay, I got into sewing through my grandma. I used to sit and watch her. Um, she was a dressmaker and I started off making toys and then I was dressmaking myself and from then I've done homeware and children's wear and all sorts of different things in between. Um, I would say my top tip is to be kind to yourself. It's only fabric at the end of the day, and if things do go wrong, then you've always got your quick on pick. My claim to fame is that in 2012, I was a VIP driver with the Olympics, and I met some really interesting people who were very nice, and I'm hoping that I'll meet some very interesting and nice people on Sewing Street too. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. I was just, I was just telling Hannah and Emma about Harvey trying to escape again this week. Anyway, good morning, good morning. I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. How is everybody? Now, in real life, I was just in the dressing room there and I thought, oh, I look really slim today. I've walked in here and I look like an old heifer. Anyway, uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm back for five days and we're starting with today's early bird, which Emma had moved. Woo! Quick tweet, 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 tweet. Right, go. Why is this an early bird? Why is this an early bird? Hannah's very angry about this, right? This sells incredibly well on its own, right? It just, we don't need to take two, we don't need to take two pounds off, but we do, we do. Uh, now you can multiply as well. You can multiply, that's the other thing. When we first started um, doing the early bird at Sewing Quarter, you're only allowed to buy one each, but now, no, you buy as many as you like. Now, when we have it at 7 99 people buy threes and fours of it because they're, you know, quilters. Take advantage. And also, once your PMP is paid for, that's it done for the day. That's it done for the day, isn't it? So, 5 99 pop it in your basket, fill your boots. Right, oh, they are as well. Right, let's have a look. Julie says, morning. John Princess says, good morning. Cousin Susan Sken says, good morning. Le My mouth's not working today. Leslie says, good morning. Claire says, good morning. Marcia says, bom dia, everybody. Sue says, morning. John and team. Galeni says, good morning. Stuart says, good morning. Uh, glad to see you back on. Claire says good morning. 
Love and light to all. Oh, she's feeling a bit spiritual today, isn't she? Derek says, morning, Hannah, Emma and John. Carol says, morning all. First day watching for a while due to parents being ill. Great to see you all. Oh, Carol, I hope they're all right. Claire says, lovely shirt. And Judy says, good morning. Glennis says, bought the 505 yesterday. Well, more fool you, Glennis. More fool you. You should have waited, shouldn't you? You should have waited. Two pounds off. Two pounds off day. Morning, John and team. Looking forward to a day of laughter and joy. I wonder where she's going then. Joy, I haven't seen Joy for years, have we? Anyway, at 5 99 it's your early bird special. Uh, no, I think, uh, there you go. Look, here you go. That's done, Elm, eight pounds. Well, so what we normally do, 7 99 ours is. So think normally, normally, normally 7 99 today, 5 99 I know, I know, I know. Dan says, morning, John, love to see you. Marcia says, nice haircut. John, uh, pretty in pink, says Anne. Jackie says, morning, John and team, we've missed you. Isabel says, good morning, John, lovely to catch up with you. Thank you. <coughs> I've got... <coughs> <laughs> I'm all right. I'm not used to talking, that's the problem. That's the lean to it. It's morning all, looking forward to seeing you with Becky Allen's Under Frost back together again. Claire says, today, I'm rising above it all. And how many did we start with? Please be careful, third of stock's gone. Davinia on my bottom, first one of the day. Hello, John and team. John, you're looking fabulous as always. Have a wonderful day. Oh, Davinia, you're very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Claire says, loving the use of the clip. Oh, yeah, look. Can you see? Can you see there? Oh, hang on, where is it? Look. It's because otherwise it flaps about all over the place. Soon. Can't have that, can we? Flappy belt strap. Uh, price comparison, <coughs> you are joking. 15.50 for one can. And it's, uh, is the can this big? Same size can. That's outrageous, isn't it? 5.99 ours. Doreen says good morning. Susan says morning, John and everyone. Back home in Derbyshire. Half the stock has gone. I don't know. I don't know. Now, remember, once you paid for it as well and you checked out, that's your P&P done for today. So whether you come in and buy a sewing machine or a Becky Alexander Frost bag or a cushion kit or uh, what else? Oh, and we've got it on Yarn Lane. It also counts for your yarn post on Yarn Lane as well. Oh, are you sure, Stuart? Stuart thinks that 1551 was a bigger tin. No, I think she's checked. 250. Oh, yeah, it was a bit bigger. Thank you, Stuart. How much was it, then? I use the clips to keep my fringe out of my eyes when I'm sewing, says Jackie. Claire says, generally, the flapping of anything is not good unless you're a bird. No, exactly. Keep going through. Keep going through because you're getting two pounds off. I'll stay with you for a little while. Jill says, morning, John, from a sunny Devon for a change. Oh, it's beautiful, the weather here this morning. I can't tell you. Message on my bottom from Julie. Morning all. John, I'm 60 today. Oh, 60. I'm dreading that. I'm counting on you to get me through the morning. Then a picnic with my grandsons later. Lots of love from Julie. 60. E by gum. It's all right. It's fine. Y yesterday you were 59. Makes no difference. I know. I know. Right. Price, from <laughs> price comparison from the Long River. Correct size. Eight ninety nine. Oh, was ten pounds twelve pence though? Was ten pounds twelve pence? Oh no, it's brilliant, isn't it? Keep going through though. I'm going to stay with you for a little while longer. Stay with me. How many? Right. Okay. Once you've all checked out, there are fifteen left. Basically, once you've all checked out, there are, we started with hundreds. Just so you know. I don't, you say, I don't know why they do it. Oh, oh, I haven't said what it is. I mean, you must know, because you're all coming in. It's, um, a you go away for a few days. Oh, all sorts of things have changed, right? So the, we've, they'd lost the um, thing for the air con. They'd, uh, they, there was no, somebody taken the cleaner and the white and the blue stuff from here and from my dressing room. I say my dressing room, we all have to share it, you know. Uh, oh, it was obviously somebody's birthday yesterday. There's cake everywhere. There's plates piled high in the sink. 
No, it wasn't Hannah's birthday cake. She ate all of hers. And she says, morning, John, no sunshine in Leeds yet. Margaret says, morning, John, Hannah and Emma bringing sunshine to a grey, dull day in West Yorkshire. Lou says, morning, lovely, amazing day today. Can't wait for today's shows. Oh, it's lovely here. It's beautiful weather here. Anyway, keep going. I'll turn that way so you can't see the clip. Oh, it's... I've not centred it, right? Not centred it very well, have I? Yes, I have, look. Hey, on that side. Hey. 5.99, keep going through. Yeah, uh, so I'm in shorts. Uh, Emma's in the loveliest little uh, green, you know, summer dress. Going, she was actually going to the tennis. Hannah's in like dirty, great black leggings and a big, heavy shirt. 5.99. Message on my bottom, then we'll move on. Morning, John. Can't wait to see you with Baffa. Enjoy your day from Jill. Thank you, Jill. I've already seen her. She's in there. She's done nothing but moan since she's been here. Moan, 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 moan. That's all she's done since she got here, I know. What is she like? Exactly. What is she like? Moan, 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 moan. Right, OK. Now, that was my early bird. <coughs> now, it's time for my panel of the week. There you go. Now this will sell out today and, I, and, and they're not going to replace it. They are not going to replace it now. I know that everything's supposed to change on July the 19th. I, for one, will be wearing my mask. If you've got to get the tube in London, the bus in London, the train in London, you, ha ha it's, you have to wear a mask. You have to wear a mask. Uh, well, I'm going to carry on wearing mine. Oh, and Scotland and Wales haven't announced what they're doing yet, apparently, according to Miss News of the World next door. Yeah, so, so I think we're going to carry on wearing masks for a long time, yeah. And I know I certainly am. Oh, I just realised they're animals. Oh, what, what, what an odd mixture. <coughs> so you've got, like, that's a lion, obviously. That's a dog. There's Hannah. Yeah. And then, but then there's paper aeroplanes. There's like a Tudor-esque vine. There's those, those things, you know, beep, 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 you know. That one there, no, that's a, that, we had this conversation last time. It's not Snoopy, it's a unicorn. These are real cool cats, these ones. There, look. Anyway, look, 6 49 when these are sold, that's it. Oh, it's half price. Half price. Jackie's going to still wear her mask. I know. Has your garden furniture arrived yet, John? No, Angie has not. Claire says, thank you for making me laugh. I need cheering up. Dee says, morning, John and team. Looking for a day show. Well, Dee's in hospital still. She's not been well. No. Julie's fine, everybody, by the way. She's had her operation. It was a bit more complicated than they thought. She'll have a second one at, at, late, at a later date. Message on the bottom. Morning, John and team. Lovely sunny day in Shropshire. Looking forward to another great day from Heather. That's a lovely positive message from Heather, isn't it? Thank you. Oh, okay. A nice message from Mrs. Suffolk now. You sauce pot love it. What? What do you mean? No tan yet, though. Oh, my holiday's booked. Holiday's booked, by the way. I know. I don't know, quite understand, but we're going to Kefalonia. I know. I'm not going to question it. Right, I need to tell you something now. There are only 14 of these left now. That's it for the week. What day is it? Wednesday. Well, I won't be doing it tomorrow, I can't imagine. Well, well maybe. I can't imagine I will be, but, you know. Even if you didn't you wear them as mar use them as masks, you could wear them, but you use them for other things, couldn't you? Huh? Did that not make any sense? I do apologise. If you're not going to use them to make masks, you could use them to use something else. Because I think they're five inch squares, aren't they? Where's the tape? You say you go away for a day. There's no tape measure now. No, I can never get that big ruler off the blooming thing, can I? I'm saying they're five inch squares. I'm completely wrong. I'm always wrong, me. Yes, seven and a half. By six and a half. Nice. Keep going through for that. 
Mandy, you, uh, Mandy, no, Mandy sent the message in. I'm not called Mandy. Mandy said, John, you'll love Kefalonia. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> Masks are still obligatory in Scotland, according to yesterday's announcement. Thank you, Derek. We knew we could rely on you. <clears throat> Hannah was nearly there, wasn't she, with the correctness? Right, you keep going through for those. I've just got to readjust. Clink, 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 clink. Right, should we move on? Should we do today's menu? So at 8 o'clock, we got Jules Mayouf in. She's doing table accessoires. Oh, we've got pictures, I think, haven't we? There's coasters. There are placemats. <laughs> I'm not meaning to laugh, but I said to, I said to Emma, you got that upside down? That's the backing. That's the backing. It's not that's the front. Anyway, that's all from a book. And the book has got money off, hasn't it? Right, back to the menu. Jet setter overnight back with a bag with Becky Alexander Frost. Right, okay, so a lot of you wonder why I call her Baffa. When we used to work together at Sewing Queen, we haven't, been, we haven't seen each other since knitting and stitching shows, since before all of this COVID thing started, right? I can remember if she was Becky Alexander Frost or Becky Frost Alexander, so I called her Baffa for short. Becky Alexander Frost, Frost Alexander, it's sort of stuck now. So she's in, she's in, look at her amazing bags. That's just two of them. Oh, actually, we've got pictures. There's one. That's the first one. Then the second hour we're doing... That one, and that one. Beautiful, aren't they? <clears throat> that's absolutely gorgeous. Right, so that's the second hour, back to the menu. Then uh, we're doing Helen Newton's cushions with Jules Mayouf. We've got the sewing room. We've got, uh, oh, the red one's behind me on the wall. And what was the other one we've got? I've just got it out of, what was it, the, the other one? Sewing room and um, cockles and mussels, was it? What was it? Oh, potting shed, potting shed, that was it. <coughs> we got pictures of those. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm a bit... Um... <coughs> We've got pictures of those, haven't we, Emma? No, we haven't got pictures of those, I do apologise. Right, then at 11 o'clock, walk with me and commuter backpack with Becky Alice and Frost. Then, of course, we run all the way down the road to the Yarn Lane studio, where Sam Sabido is joining us. Hey! She's bringing in all sorts. She's bringing in... Uh, did you see the lovely picture she put on the... On, um, uh, um, Social media last night, all her family. She's bringing ponchos, she's bringing cardigans, she's bringing bags, she's bringing everything. I have um, cleaned it all for you, Jules, so it's nice and ready for you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, and so that, uh, that's um, Yarn Lane. Right, so there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. That is studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, then you can send me a message on Facebook Live. Right, now they're the ones I've been shouting out. Um, Susan says, can't wait to see Becky Alexander Frost. Lynn says, good morning, John. Good to see you. Low Reed says, I still wear my mask. Can't be bothered putting on my makeup. No, she puts, she wears those like that. And like that. Anyway, um, uh, so the third way is go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. <coughs> I've spoken more this morning than I have done for the last five days. It's going to be a bit of a strain on the old voice today. Anyway, click on Watch Live. And then you'll see me in the screen there. <clears throat> on the right-hand side, you'll see a box that says send message to studio. Hello, I'm Hannah. I'm not, obviously. She is. Hi, Hannah, hi. <coughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, blimey. All right, right, you can only have 140 words. Send the message. You get a little uh, confirmation you've sent it. Now, scroll down the page. You'll see two columns. You'll see uh, today's show deals. Now, it's not sold out. Oh, uh, <coughs> there's loads in baskets. There are eight not checked out, but hundreds have you got in your basket. That's the show deals. That's when, when I've shown you something, it'll be in that column. In the right-hand column, the pre-order, are all the things that are to come. So for the next four and a half hours, here's the new book there. Saving five pounds, excuse me. Now, we haven't done bundles of fabric for this first hour. We've oh, it's only 3 99 Oh, you've got to, that was Jules Jerd muttering in the background then. Um, you've got to come in and get some of that. I'll tell you about that in a second. Thermaland there. Then we've got some uh, solid fabrics there. Keep going down. So that's all Jules's first hour there. Then she's going to, oh, look, the quicker pick sold out. Oh dear, I'm sorry about that. Then there's Becky Alexander Frost. Now, I need to explain to you. So Becky Alexander Frost bag in that hour, you can buy the pattern on its own. 
Yep, you can, there's the pattern on its own. You can also buy the pattern plus the hardware, which is exclusive to Sewing Street. She's had the hardware specially made for that bag, just so you know. Just so you know, it's got a work gone into it. Then we've also got bundles of the... There they are, there they are. There's all the bundles there. So you can buy the bundles. You might have your own fabric. That's why we've done it like that. Hilary says, morning, everybody. And then all your interface there, whether you buy Bozal or you buy H640 or you buy both. Uh, then we'll carry on down because there's Jules's next hour. So there's the... Now, the sewing room, you can buy the cushion instructions on their own or the kit. You can buy the uh, potting shed uh, cushion instructions on their own or the kit. Bundle, I mean, not kit. Uh, then there's those there, the red ones. We've got four different colourways of those cushions there, the tie cushions. The little squares at the top left-hand corner are what, the, what you're buying from that, red, that um, bundle. Then there's the Becky Alexander Frost Walk With Me bag kit, pattern and hardware. Then there's pattern on its own. Then the other bag there, pattern and hardware. And pattern on its own. Anyway, so that's all of that. Then we've got bundles there as well. Beautiful bundles. The name of the bag goes with the bundle. Marina's watching now. And then that's it. And then we run all the way to your... Now, do you want to show Yarn Lane? Uh, because everything from Yarn Lane is also on pre-order. And you know how busy it is when Sam Sabido's in. So you do exactly the same. You go to www.yarnlane.com. Heritage. Click on uh, watch the live show. Oh, there's Rebecca Reed there. Look, bit chattering away. She's not there right now. She's in bed still. Then, if you scroll down the page, these are all the things we've got. We've got the cardies. We've got the ponchos. I don't know what that... Oh, toggles. Oh, look at that. I love that poncho. Uh, Granny, look, there's... Oh, there's the bags. I've not seen the bags before. I might have to get one of those today. Anyway, look, that's all of Yarn Lane. Now, if you've never bought from Yarn Lane before, your login is exactly the same as your Sewing Street login. And also, they're in a funny order, aren't they? And, 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 um, if you've paid PMP here, if you've already bought the early bird here, that actually covered for the whole day on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Okay, now the three nine. I'll, I'll get on to that because I've done everything I need to do of night. Right, Jules Mayuf is here, everybody. That's it. Oh, yeah. You're doing your hair like um, um, Teresa Caputo. Ooh. Do you know Teresa Caputo? No. She's the, uh, <laughs> she is the Long Island medium. Oh. And she started no, with... No, it's only like that because it's gone so long. I can't do anything else. Oh, no, no. It? But hers has got higher and higher and higher. Oh, a bit it's like a beehive. It's like that now. A <laughs> daughter just got married and it was very big. <laughs> anyway, Jules is here. But before we see Jules, right, I'm going to take you through what we've got in Jules' hour because these are all flying out already. So, the book is five pounds off. I know. I think I've peaked already. I'm a bit exhausted. There you go. I'll just have a sleep while Jules does a sewing in a minute. Right, here we go. Sew Home in the Kitchen by Abigail. Oh, what's a funny name? No, I don't mean that rudely. But oh, what an unusual name. Yeah. Abigail American Bennett. That means I'd be called John Burke and Ed Scott. <laughs> anyway, five pounds off. Five pounds off this is. 18 insulated projects. Perfect for beginners. Yes. Oh, before, yeah, sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. We've got a competition. Sorry. Right. So if you've already bought the early bird, you're already in it. Right. All you have to do is every day this week that I haven't got an email, you see, so I don't know anything about this. Hannah's just, well, Emma's just reminded Hannah to remind me. <laughs> um, so basically, every day this week, there's a different competition, right? So you buy something, your name goes in the hat, and then tomorrow after tomorrow, not afternoon, tomorrow morning, I will announce the winner. So today... If you shopped yesterday with Rebecca Reed, oh that no, so there today's that's today's prize, right? The Queen's birthday large hexes, two K facet five inch charm pads. Oh, it's on! I tell you where it's on Amy's desk. I've just seen that on Amy's desk, and sewing for the soul book. That's on Amy's desk right now. I've just seen it, right? So you anybody who buys anything from me today, and I think it is it only Sewing Street. I think it is, isn't it? I think it's only Sewing Street, right? But you buy something from me today, your name goes in the hat, and I'll read out the name tomorrow. Later on today, if you bought something from Vix yesterday, there'll be a winner, and I'll be reading them out. I don't know when it is, 11, 12, around then something. Oh, it'll have to be before 12, because I go to Yarn Lane, don't I? So sometime this morning, I'll announce who yesterday's winner is, and then tomorrow, I'll announce who today's winner is. All you have to do is buy something. So if you come in and buy this book, £5 off, your name goes in the 
bucket and the tombola thing. We said it's not like that anymore. It's all done computerized, isn't it? Anyway, somebody will win that prize. Five pounds off. Should we look at the book? Abigail American Bennett's book. I don't know if it's a relation to Steve. Oh, yeah, they have talked about it. Is it a relation to Steve Bennett? Maybe. He'd be called Steve Redditch Bennett then, wouldn't he? Or Steve Warwick Bennett. Right, excuse me, what's that got to do with sewing? Yeah, you get cookie recipes in there as well. Oh, have you made those then? I haven't, no. Oh, Why did you want to bring them in? Guest, every other guest would have made, should have eaten them on Sorry, the way in. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that was breakfast. Uh, <laughs> right, okay, so, oh, there's more cookies. Yeah. Right, here we go. Hot. Cook pot. Oh, look, Hannah, pot holders. Hannah loves a pot holder. Yeah, because she keeps burning them. Uh, Erica's hot skillet handle now cover. Now, that's a good idea. Oh, I, that would frighten me. Really? What, getting it on fire? No, slide out. Oh. <laughs> I don't like what she's cooking. Anyway. <laughs> I like that. Well, I can only eat that tea cosy, spelt differently. You'll... Is that Tula fabric, that one is? But that's a hessian, that one is. That's mm. not a so cotton. Right, trivet for two. Oh. That's a there's only half a pan on it. That's what, yeah, so there's only one egg. There's only one <laughs> egg, Hannah. We're on a diet with Sherry. <laughs> oh, Jackie's maiden name was Bennett. She would be called Burke and Ed Bennett as well. <laughs> right, bowl cozy. They're like they're Zeds in this book, don't mm. they? We've got I've got these in my dressing room. I used I used to use it for my old. I haven't had porridge for a long time. Mug rug. They're very handy as long as you don't use metallic thread. Oh, oh which yes, Which is what I did on my first fancy one. Oh, well, you just... Where what, did the what's microwave... What's a warming veggie sleeve? I think you put them in there into the microwave. What, you microwave potatoes like that? I don't know. Oh, I don't I have don't, to read that. <laughs> Hang on, this is perfect to store your veggies and keep them hot while you're prepping the rest of your meal. Pull your baked potatoes ah. out of the oven and pop them into this little sleeve. And keep, how many people have you got coming round? They're only little though, look. Oh, okay. Then we've got Nanny's sausage gravy. Is that like Jill's sausage surprise on EastEnders? <laughs> I went to college with her, you know. Anyway, set the table placemats. That's us. Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's, that's us. what we're doing. Yeah. Then we've got table spread runner. That's what you've got one of those as well. Oh, that's nice. They look nice, don't they? I recognise that fabric as well. Anyway. Know, Keep it cool coasters, Mama's hot roll towels, my nan's chili, cold beer kukuzi, <laughs> whatever one of those is, go let's go shopping. Uh, potluck superstar tote, oh cinnamon, they look like cinnamon swirls though, don't mm. they? <laughs> yeah. Did you have your breakfast? John? I've had my breakfast, I've had my boiled egg and I've had, oh are you alright there Hannah, give us some water. I've had my um, avocado and my boiled egg. I'm back at work now. Oh, that's very posh. Yeah. Home team quilt and cushion. Well, I didn't have that while I was away. I didn't have to drink any water. I've got to make me drink water today. Bennett's lunch bag. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Then we've got a snack bag. So we've got a healthy bag followed by a snack bag. <laughs> but there's loads in it and you've got five pounds off. Five pounds off coffee cosy. Hmm. No. Anyway. These are good beginners projects, but also, like if you're an experienced sewer and you just want to um, make some gifts for something, they're, they're quite straightforward makes. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're just discussing whether we like a kitchen or not. Oh, well. I see. You see, Emma likes those, but Hannah's worried her hair would get caught in them. Yeah. I, why would you need three chopping boards out on display like that? They'd have to go in the cupboard. The, the, but your yeah. olive oil, does, you shouldn't have your olive oil in the sunlight like that. That's why olive oil's in dark bottles, because you should never have it in sunshine, yeah? And what, I'm not sure what the two different, I suppose that's vegetable oil in there. I like the succulents. Now, I've got these in my kitchen. They I do agree with. <laughs> anyway, should we move on? <laughs> Uh, so home in the kitchen, five pounds off. Abigail American Bennett, right? Now I do need to. Um, I do need. Claire makes sausage sprays. The sprays is it's edible. <laughs> anyway, I need to do these fabrics very quickly before Jules starts because these are flying out. Well, I'm not surprised. Would you like me to go first, or would you like to tell me? Right. WVC four nine two. 
Taupe, this one's called. Now, oh, look. Like wide. wide. 55 inches wide. Pardon? No. Dainty flowers in taupe, this one's called. I'll put it down the table for you. It's a, lo ooh, it's a lovely cotton, this, isn't it? Very nice to work with. Very nice. Bit like me, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The star. <laughs> eh? <laughs> star. Dark? Star. Oh, star. Hello? <laughs> I haven't, I haven't spoken to anyone for days. It's oh, fine. sorry. I shan't shout. No, it's fine. Three ninety nine for half a metre. Now, it's cut off the bolt for you. You can have as much or as little as you want, as long as it's half a metre, uh, in increments of half a metre. Isn't that lovely? It's three ninety nine for cotton fabric, quilting weight fabric. Beautiful. Nice shirts and Shirt, which stuff. Shirts, skirts, summer dresses. Yeah, yeah. Storage tubs. <laughs> <laughs> Anna's not thinking about little dresses. She's talking about storage tubs. I think Hannah's still, you know, still on, she's still on party mode. Let's just put it that way. Right, DXC497, this is the green one. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so Hannah's seeing a border on a quilt. I'm seeing a little girl's dress. Lime, this one's called, Lime. Oh, you think it's Tanya Whelan. Very essence of Tanya Whelan, this. Or... Little curtains you have in kitchens. Don't they call them cafe curtains or mm. something? Like half half a window. Bood, oh. Boudoir curtains. Oh, what? Boudoir Oh, curtains. no. Hannah cannot <laughs> be in the bedroom. <laughs> Wrong colour for Hannah's bedroom, this. Racy red, the next one, then. Ma oh, this is Ma Maisie. Claire made some um, bunting for Maisie. Oh, talking about bunting. Look. Gainey, look. Oh. That's a lovely present, a birthday present for Gainey. I just got this morning. Uh, again, is the lady who made the, um, and she makes really fantastic Welsh cakes. And she mm. came to visit at Sewing Quarter and we just munched on them. They were delicious. Anyway, that's in case I forget who I am. <laughs> it's not for sale. It's a gift. It was a gift. These are flowers on red. Dainty flowers on red, no less. 3 99 for half a metre, 100% cotton. 55 inches wide. Bolster cushion would be nice. They're lounging pants. You wouldn't want to sleep in them, I don't think, because they might be a bit heavy for sleeping in. Um, garden cushions, I'm thinking. Paperback shorts. Paperback shorts. Or what, Han? Right. Uh, if you're going to make dolls clothes out of them, you have to be, have a bigger doll. So if your doll was that big... Mm. Oh, her doll's bigger than that. It's about that big. She's fibbing. Okay, now I've got it in the loveliest kind of pinky tone now. Oh, these... The, now, these are going to sell out, by the way. These are going to sell out, I think, today. This one's called... Right, a quarter of the stock of this went before we even came on air. Light pink, this one's called. You see, now, the next one coming up... Look, at don't those go beautifully together? Anyway, this is light pink. Good for your stash. Masks, make pretty masks, wouldn't they? Or face coverings, I should say. Or bunting, like Claire did. Lovely. Two more colours to show you. Okay, that pink one's about, will sell out. That pink one will definitely sell out. Now the purple. Purple. Oh, grape. Somebody sent a message the other day saying, John, you don't have to sound Liverpudlian when you say purple. It's because I'm saying it as a joke, because that's how people live. People? That's how they say it, you know, people? I work with a Liverpudlian cameraman at, at uh, Pavers called Richard, and he talks like that. People? <laughs> Crazy Lorraine says, morning, John. You're looking very smart. Thank you, Crazy Lorraine. Dainty flowers on grape. It's a lovely colour, that one. And then last but not least, remember it's 55 inches wide, this cotton. Pale blue, powder blue, this one's called. Now, for some reason, I'm thinking about lederhosen. <laughs> you know, like, um, on, yeah, on um, Sound of Music, when, what the boys call, curtains. Out of the out, curtains. Yes, out of the curtains. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking there.
Uh, purple, says Bernie, laughing. Purple. This is powder blue, though, this is one, Bernie. Not pa This one's not purple. Right, we will start sewing in a minute, I promise you. Can I, I just, um, just oh, can you what? make an observation? You can indeed. So, if you look at the colours that you've got, so I've got some little mats here that I've made out of them. Yeah. They, you can split them into two different sets because of the background roses and flowers that you've got. So, on these four colours, you've got a deep pink, uh, like a turquoisey blue and a green. Right. And on these two colours... Your background leaves are like the taupey colour, oh, a red yeah. and a blue. So just if you were matching things up or wanted contrast and things, I sort never of even two colour sets. Well, you, you probably wouldn't unless you were working. No, I noticed because I was working it out, with it. it. Yeah, because to yeah. me I thought they're all, they're all just the same. Beautiful. Thank you. Right, now I've got solid fabrics here. Do you want to go through those? Oh, what size these flowers for EPP? Who's asked that? County Armagh, I've got a, I've got a I've room got a, here. Oh, here you go, Jules. So the width of the flower is two inches, uh, sorry, an inch at the widest point, diameter-wise, if you see what I mean, from there That's to there. That's good for you, uh, County Armagh. Do you want to have a look again? Oh, hang on, there you go. There's, there's a ruler there. Oh, sorry. That's how big they are, look. So if you put that there, uh, it, from the end of that dot to the end of that dot, it's an inch and a quarter. Be lovely in the middle of an EPP hexy, those, wouldn't they? One and a half, two inches, yeah. would be all right. Beautiful. Good question. Now I've got solid colours. Do you want to go through those or do you just want me to show them? Okay, whiz through them very quickly. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. So this one is ivory, I'm imagining. Now, this is Rose and Hubble fabric, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. This works with all of them because they've all got ivory in the background, haven't they? Did you use this at all? I used this on the back of the runner. Oh, so the yeah, front yeah. of the runner had blue and then the back was the ivory. The ivory. We sent, we basically, we sent Jules McGoof every single fabric <laughs> that you're seeing here now. <laughs> then I'm moving on to so a soft grey now, uh, TELJ06, again Rose and Hubble. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, cotton. This will work with, oh, I'd say this will work with all of them, really. What did you use the grey one for? So the grey one I did, um, on some of the uh, placemats, I did some contrast and some um, matching. So right. the grey one I did, the red in the middle and the grey around the outside, okay. and then the reverse yeah. for the other one. Lovely. <laughs> I have many more. Yes, exactly. You've been busy. <laughs> Then I've got a mint green, which I see you're going to use in your demo. Yeah. And that was, so that's the reverse of what I'm going to do. I did right. it with the purple, because obviously Wimbledon. Well, hang on though, get your mint, where's your mint green one? Oh, you haven't done mint green yet. No, the, as, in the, as in the play, solid. Oh, sorry. 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 Yeah. There you go. Other way. That's sorry. it, perfect. No, no, don't apologise. There you go. Lovely. Then I've got like a claret coming up next. with me claret selection. Oh, it's called crimson, sorry, not claret, crimson. And I've done that on the back as well. Okay, so don't look at those. If you want to look at um, Jules's table, you'll see how she's used this on a border with the red and grey, it looks like, yeah. Emma. Wake her up, Hannah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Everyone's just sitting there making noises, not pressing any buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they always say, don't they? Don't wake someone up who's sleepwalking. <coughs> then we've got the soft pink. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's my sanitizer? There it is. Got the soft pink there. Three forty-nine for half a meter. Hundred percent cotton, machine washable. Oh, that one's pretty. Look, that's the pink I've one. matched. Yeah. Lovely. Then I've got the purple. Oh, it's magenta, this one. Oh, OK. Yeah. Amethyst, I'd say. See, she's one step ahead of us now, isn't she? I'm in my routine. <laughs> right, last but, not, oh, yeah, last but not least, I've got like a blue, a soft blue. And that matches really well with the blue. 
Of course, oh yeah, uh, what candy is blue? Why would you call blue candy? Bubble gum. Bubble gum. <laughs> Bubble gum ice cream's blue. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's horrible. Ooh, Revolting I can stuff. Imagine. Children like it. Do you have to spit it out afterwards? I don't have it. No. <laughs> the right. children. And before we do some sewing, the other thing you might need for this hour is. Thermalan. Thermalan. Hannah's made up a song about Thermalan. Thermalama ding dong. About <laughs> Thermalama ding dong. 5 99 you get a metre piece, it's 90 centimetres wide. Big piece that. If you, that the thermal lamp, if you don't know, it's the wadding you put in between if you're going to put something hot on top or make a tea cosy or something like that. Oh yeah, now what they do say is put a layer of thermal lamp and a layer of wadding, then your wadding will uh, mop up any condensation that may occur. Hasn't got metal through it, it's not like an insole break. You can put this one in the, in the um, not the dishwasher, don't put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> the microwave you. What? The microwave you. Ma microwave, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wow, loving the magenta, says Derek. Of course, he's going clubbing in his purples, isn't he? Shelley says, morning, John. I've used the grey fabric from my granddaughter's many dresses that I've made for it. It's very nice fabric. There you go. Mm. Straight from Shelley, from the horse's mouth. She doesn't look like a horse. Right. Okay, please be careful. All of these fabrics, the, the one that's the least popular sold a third, and the others have sold more, sort of thing. They're all flying out the door. There's the different colours there. Not going through them again. All underneath me on, uh, sh not show tunes. I've been away for too long, haven't I? Show deals. <laughs> not little, I'm not Little Mix. I said, li I said Little Mix were coming in today earlier. Right, well, so, that's me and Becky. Yes, that's right. I can imagine. <laughs> right, OK, then. Uh, so what are you going to show us? Um, whereabouts in the book is it? So um, what I'm going to show you are, uh, it's the table runner, the placemats and the... Um, little coasters section so right, it begins okay. at page 49 right. I'm only going to demo the placemat yeah perfect but what I thought I mean you've seen all the variations on there they're quite hefty sizes so this is American plate size I reckon um, on the placemat so if you wanted to you could scale it down and obviously you get more out of your fabric but just for a reference point on how much fabric you've got if you have half a meter of the floral and one meter of the plain and one meter of the wadding you will get two placemats of this size right and some bits left over i was sent lots of fabric i had i used a half a meter of all of the florals and a half a meter of all of the planes and i got a table runner six placemats and probably about 12 of the coasters plus i had some left also how i mean not we're not all going to want that many are no, we? Thing. no and, not at all know. and and this is such a nice pattern you could make that as i was saying you could scale it down and make a slightly smaller placemat but equally you could scale it up and make a pillowcase that to oh, me yes, looks yes. pillowcase yeah. um so there's quite a lot with the techniques that you've going to build on in the book there's quite a lot of other projects that you can do brilliant but for this particular one um, as I say you need uh, your center part is going to be your floral you could equally have it plain in the center and then the floor around the outside mm -hmm. it just depends on, on what, what you, you like. fancy yeah uh, so what you're going to do first of all is cut your center piece out mm -hmm. which is a rectangle of 11 by 15 you're then going to cut out some three inch binding strips and these are 11 inches to match the shorter sides and then the longer ones go across the top and that's a 20 inch I think. So by the time we've sewn it all together. So the process will be that we're going to sew this, then we're going to attach it to the back. Okay. So we'll give it a go and see how far we get. Okay, Shelley says they may be American, but her Clint, her boyfriend Clint, he said that placement would be perfect for his big plate. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I have big plates as well, because I don't know how many of those I'd fit onto my table. No, well, I, I was asked to um, go outside and uh, photograph the still uh, in, in an outside place environment. Yeah. So I went to the park 
Oh, okay. I wonder me, where that table uh, was. Yeah, it's not mine. Me and my daughter went to the park and uh, we were very embarrassing taking over the picnic table. <laughs> and I got all of the things to put on it and we only managed to fit two. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. apologies, I couldn't give you them all. but. <laughs> So um, everything's sewn with a quarter of an inch seam and basically what you're going to do is put your side ones on first and uh -huh. do a quarter of an inch down each one. So I'll do that and then we'll do the top ones and then hopefully we'll fit top to back and uh, that'll be done. So this is the boring sewing bit but straightforward stuff really. I'm not pinning because you know I love not pinning. Uh -huh. um, but with this, if you, it's like anything else, if you cut accurately you've got more chance of sewing it straight she says with ambition yeah <laughs> and we're not really matching any of the seams um, so even when we put the other one on we're not actually matching the seams up yeah um, it's not like when you're doing a quilt and you might have to match the seams yeah Veronica says morning John bit late they've been shopping Veronica what shops have you been to already it's only quarter to nine Oh, I suppose supermarkets are open all night. Lots of supermarkets are open all night, aren't they? Okay, and then you would just press these open and flat, so mm -hmm. iron or clover or whatever you uh -huh. would like to use. Or fingers, full speed. I don't know why I'm trying to be speedy. I think it's just I've just looked at the clock and gone, all right, yeah. okay. <laughs> We've been chatting. And then top and bottom. And the beauty of these fabrics, you can be very um, careful and make sure that you get the right side. But if you don't get the right side, they're reversible, these cottons. And they're such good quality, you can't really tell yeah. the right and the wrong. I think Hannah's playing Candy Crush or something on the computer this morning. <laughs> Thanks for paying attention, Hannah. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for paying attention, Hannah. <laughs> no, no, no. I think she's typing an email, but the way she types, she goes, da da, oh. <laughs> da da, da da, da da, like that. That's how she um, types. <laughs> Hannah's still on her birthday weekend. Bless her. I think, because it's a big birthday, you can make it a month birthday, you yeah. know? Yeah, no, don't say that, no. <laughs> well, my, I think um, the, the breweries would <laughs> run dry if she made it a month. They'll be making a lot of profit. They'll be very happy after yeah. the year they've had. Jules is such a nice lady to watch doing demonstrations, says Bernie. Oh, thank you, Bernie. <laughs> well, we've just had many <coughs> birthdays because my three girls are uh -huh. born within two weeks of each other. So we Obviously have different years. Different years, yes. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> well, I did have um, two of my daughters on the same day, but eight years apart. Oh, okay. I thought I was being very kind and organised, and they hate it because they'd rather have their own separate of course, birthdays. Yeah. Okay. So we have like a month's worth of birthdays. Yeah, because you can't give one two weeks without the other one two weeks, no. and there's no point in not being a birthday week. You know, it's so close. <laughs> Any exactly. excuse. <laughs> All right, so you would, uh, so that's what it's going to look like. The front, and you would press all of this out. Press all of them open. Yeah. Just because um, you may want to do some quilting, because obviously if you just put the top to the back, you've, it's only patchwork, isn't it? Because yeah, you've just yeah. attached them. But these are going to be perhaps having spills on them, so you would want to be washing them yeah. at regular intervals. So you need to really do some quilting so that um, the inside doesn't ruckle up and everything. Yeah, because yeah, Michelle made me one a, a placemat for my birthday. It had lemons on it and everything, and on the first day I got a great big coffee ring on it. And she'd said to me before, do you want me to overcoat it? And I was like, I'm not messy. <laughs> anyway, she said, oh, anyway, it's washed up beautifully. <laughs> All righty, so... Remember now, then you want your, we're going to do, um, so all the way around the outside and we're going to enclose the wadding in. So we're going to have the top and the back facing each other. Yeah. And just lining it up. I've gone off a little bit, but yeah. At home you won't, you will be perfect. Spot on. And then, wadding is always tricky because it shifts. Right. So if you're lining up your cotton fabric, don't 
be too particular. As long as it's covering the wadding, uh -huh. you, you don't have to be too particular. And then what you're going to do, so you've got your wadding on the back and you've got the um, wrong side facing the wadding, then the right side of the backing facing the right side of the pieced piece mm -hmm. that you've done, and then the wrong side up, Yeah. if that makes sense. And the reason that I would do it this way round is so that when you're doing the seams, I've only just finger pressed these, but you can make sure that they stay open. Yeah. Uh, so pick where you're going to start because you need to leave a gap. I usually do a, a side rather than a top or a bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and then you will just go around everything. Now, um, I had the meter piece of wadding and in order to get all of my pieces out, I cut it slightly small. Um, but it, then I quilted in the middle, so it didn't really matter. But you may want to cut it exactly to the right side or slightly bigger so mm -hmm. that you've got room to quilt okay. it. Um, but I'm just kind of behind Susan it. Susan says, on. morning all. I'm sat in the garden watching you. Oh, nice. And says, morning all. Great to have you back, John. Thank you very much indeed. Do the plain fabrics have a right and wrong side? Well, Anne, in theory, they do. But the Rose and Hubble are so lovely that they, you can wear, use them either side. Normally you, you can tell the difference. These you can't really tell the difference at all. I would challenge anybody to tell the yeah. difference. I couldn't. And then what you do when you're coming to turn it through, you might want to use, um, if you've got uh, duckbill scissors, you could use those. Right. Or you could just use um, just regular long point scissors yeah. to trim off, because you want to be trimming away. I'll show you in a second. You want to be trimming away from your seam line. Right. I'm not going to say this is going to be square, but hey, you know what I mean. Yeah. I love it when I... <laughs> When I've done it and my daughters will go, that's not straight, Mum, it's, it's sewing for telly. Yeah, it's so, no excuse. Telly sewing. <laughs> Christina says, good morning, found you at last. Oh, Christina, you've been having troubles. I think it's when the, everything changed over, didn't it? Oh, yes. But I've got you back again, because I was having to I'll watch... I'll preview. On, yeah. I was having to watch on the computer, which that's a challenge in itself. Uh -huh. I just missed it. Um, sorry, it's just shifted. Yeah. Um, but now, yeah, 72, I think yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's because I don't know the ins and outs of it, but basically it, it was, it's nothing to do with us, it's not our doing, but the people who do the free view was going out of one transmission, then they swapped it to another one, now it's gone back to what it was. So some people found us when it went to the new one, and then some people have, you know... Kind of lost us again. Yeah, but what other people said is they said, retune the boxes, and people said that still wasn't working. And then someone said, turn it off and do it as, as an initial installation, like when you first get it, and loads of people found that that's worked. Ah, there you go. Christina said, yes, I can now get you on my telly, so I found you by chance. Margaret says, morning, John, loving the shirt as always and the new haircut. Well, it looks a bit shorter than it really is because I, I, can, I can't do product. I'm not very good with product, especially this time in the morning, especially with Harvey wanting his tuna fish book. My friend's cat came to stay for a couple of days. Been there a month now. Came for a... Well, obviously, you're a very good host. Well, yeah, when he's got no choice. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going back on Friday. He's going home on Friday. So we're going to just ease that down. Got one of these. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The duck bill scissors. They're on the down. website. And you would go all the way around. You would trim off. I'm not going to do it all, but yeah, you'd yeah. trim off. Like, I've got a bigger piece there. And then you trim your corners and all that kind of stuff. And then you turn through. Mm -hmm. So just typically I've gone ambitious again, haven't I? do this all the time. So what I like to do is when I'm getting to the corner is if you... Take yourself right up to the top of the corner, and I would have turned that better. But if you have your thumb underneath the corner, push your index finger down and hold one side, mm -hmm. and then curl the other round, a bit like a hospital corner. Yeah. As you pull that through, it's more pointy. Oh, uh, brilliant. Even though I've got quite a lot of bulk on there. Um, i say I'll go back and trim it all up, but just for ease of showing you what's what. Yeah. 
Margaret says you'll miss the 4.30 a.m. cat playtime with Harvey when he goes home. No, because this morning, it was 20 past one, he wanted to play this morning. But then what's even worse is Jim next door, who's building the monster shed in his garden. 20 past nine last night, he was hammering nails in. God, I was at that window. Look, look. Anyway. Glaring. He stopped. Glaring. <laughs> I glared and he stopped. Right, I've got a quick message from who do you say? Yvonne. Yvonne says... What could be better? Sunny morning and John on the TV. Thank you, Sony Street. Great projects and demonstrations from Yvonne in Cheshire. Oh, Cheshire. Cheshire. No, not Cheshire. Yvonne, you're very kind. So basically, that's, that's your kind of outlook. What you do is press it really. You'll have trimmed all your seams. You'll press it really well. And then you'll um, just turn under and press your open, uh, your turning gap. Uh -huh. And you might want to pin that just to hold it close. And then you'll top stitch all the way round. So that way that's closing your turning gap. Uh -huh. With the ones that I made, I just um, did a stitch in the ditch all the way round. But you could do lots of swirly patterns. You could get your embroidery stitches out and do them around the outside. Uh -huh. The world's your lobster, really. It is you indeed. Could do whatever you like. It is indeed. And, and there's so many projects in the book, aren't there? I mean, we've only picked one yeah. very simple one, but there's so many different projects. This yeah. book, and you're getting five pounds off it, which is amazing. Yeah, it, and they're really, as I say, very straightforward projects. And there's some that you could use. This was one that I thought I'd quite like to use, and that was the, um, if, you, if you have bought multiples of the florals, yeah. so on this one, the Potluck Superstar Tote, it tells you to cut... Um, six rectangles of the main fabric, which I would class as the, um, the flowery one. Yeah. Well, there are six. So What is it? I can't see what it's meant it's to a, be. It's a holder, so you, you'd put Just your... Put it to your right. Oh, oh uh, sorry. No, no, because there they go, there you go. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Pot luck superstar tote. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So you put your um, carrying vessel in there, so yeah. you, and then you close it over, and you take it to somebody's house or whatever, oh, that, or a picnic nice. or that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it tells you to use six different fabrics. So if you happen to buy all of those, yeah. you could make a really nice multicoloured one that would go with everything. Brilliant. So, Fantastic. Yeah, I quite like the look of that one. Uh, Jules is back in an hour's time where she's doing some Helen Newton. Well, uh, the Helen Newton tie cushion behind you, but we've also got some applique in as well. Uh, they're on pre-order now on the website. Thank you, Jules. That's now, right. what would you like me to recap before we go to break? Recap of the book. Five pounds off. Five pounds off this book today. Could you mitre the corners? Says Derek. You can if you want to. Um, the only thing is the way that it's stitched. You stitch the ends and then you stitch the tops. Right. So if you were going to mitre the corners, you'd want to do it like you would do around a quilt. So you'd have a border. Right. And you would sew it on and then mitre the corner. Sew around right. and mitre the corner. So you you do it differently. You wouldn't do it there to there you do it all the way around in a continuous piece like you'd edge a quilt yeah elaine says my neighbor had workmen in at 10 45. <laughs> uh, i don't think they were workmen somehow <laughs> <laughs> at 10 45 at night anyway look the book the book the book five pounds off five pounds off it's so many little projects and there she is looking really happy she looks a bit like charlie dimmock there as was uh, uh <laughs> snack yeah. bag cushion Potluck Superstar Tote. Let's go shopping. Cold beer koozie out and about. There's, you know what? There's um, food recipes in here as well. Cookies and chilli. Nanny's chilli and all sorts of things. Now, Anna thinks this is us having breakfast together. I wonder why it's called Chivet for Two. <laughs> when there's only one egg in there. It's, we're not sharing an egg. Right, Erica's hot skillet handle cover. <laughs> Anyway, fourteen ninety nine, five pounds off, five pounds off, five pounds off. Okay. Emma thinks that's very romantic. It's been years since she and her boyfriend have shared an egg. Right. I can't imagine he'd even share an egg, to be quite honest, knowing him. Right, here we go. So let's start with the pale blue. Is it pale? Yeah, powder blue, this one. There's only 10 metres left. It's 55 inches wide. It's 100% cotton. There's... Brand new today, and there is so many in baskets. There's not going to be enough. There's not going to be enough to go around. Please check out if you want that. So that's the powder blue. It's 55 inches wide. Lovely. It's really, really lovely quality cotton, that one. 
Then I've got the um, purple. 12 meters of purple. It could be a mini skillet and you have one each. Oh, yes. Yes, no, but you have a frying pan each. That's what she's saying. I'm just going to, I'm going to look in the instructions now while you buy this purple. Check out this purple. <laughs> right, hang on a sec. Trivets are my fancier version of basic coasters. They are cute as like... No mention of two frying pans, though. I don't, you see, if you cook a fried egg like that, I don't think I'll be coming round because it's all crispy around the outside. <laughs> anyway, be careful with that one. Lots of you got that in your basket. Sarah said, hello, John. Did you have a lovely few days off? I did. Thank you very much indeed. It was really lovely. Pink now. Now, pink was the most popular before we started the show. Okay, too many people got that in their basket. If you want that, you do need to check out if you definitely want it. The light pink. Then I'm going to the red. Emma has to start packing this up now. She's got an appointment later. There you go. Three ninety nine for half a meter. Beautiful, dainty flowers in red. It's all right, you're not going till we tell you you can go. Oh my goodness, that book just fell into my basket, says Shelley. Well, it's five pounds <laughs> off, you've saved five pounds. Green, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Lime, they call that one. Christopher's just put, sorry, hard boiled egg, hang on. Oh, hang on, there's a message earlier. I think I could only share a boiled egg. It just wouldn't work with any other. A hard boiled egg. <laughs> I've just had a hard boiled egg for my breakfast. I make, I made my money back on that blooming boiled egg thing I bought. The one where you can do 16 <laughs> eggs. I bought an egg boiling machine, right? And the first one broke from Lakeland. Thank you, Lakeland. So I bought another one from uh, the Long River and it, I didn't read it properly and it arrived and it said how to cook 16 eggs. <laughs> Anyway. Invite your street for breakfast. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, no. I've, I've, they're all still in bed when I go to work. Well, knock them all, you know. Yeah, knock on the door. Boiled egg. Yeah. Boiled egg. Treating yeah. you today. Yeah. <laughs> this one is in taupe. Loads of that one in baskets. And then, last but not least, the thermal lamp. Thermal lamp. Five ninety nine thermal and compressed fleece sewing one meter. It's nine centimeters wide. I've done something funny to my finger. I don't know what I've done. You trapped it. No, it's not exciting. It hurts. Anyway, five ninety nine. That is for a meter. Right now, in the next hour, Becky Ellen's under frost. Now I'm not sure if she's ever been in the studio so far here. She's never been here before. She's done a little thingy on, on where she did it from home, didn't she? But she's never been in. So we're very excited to see Becky Ellen's under frost. There is the bag that we're making in this next hour. Uh, you can buy the pattern on its own. You can buy the pattern with the hardware. We've also got a bundle of three different colorways of the fabric as well. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in three minutes from now. Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost and most of you might know me as Baffa in the studio when John and Vic say our Baffa when I message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags as you can see I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags um, however there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five, I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaids dresses for me and my sister. 
and basically I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature by the way. Um, she said I'm a bit young to learn her words and basically she said maybe when you're a bit older so my when I turned eight I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine I'm now in my late 30s but still act that eight year old my favorite tools or top tips so I have two best friends one's called the bulky sea maid which is this and one is called quilter stay this will help anybody the bulky sea maid will help anybody if you're um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot this will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch now this is my best friend when I come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot I mean a lot thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon bye Sewing has been part of the Great British Heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Right, before I start and introduce you to this bag, I've got to, a lot of, oh, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean a lot of you won't know who she is, but I, you won't have, some of you won't have met her before, right? So Becky Alexander Frost, Frost Alexander, I've known her for about 100 years now, and um, she's a nightmare. She's a complete and utter nightmare, but what she is good at, she is the most incredible, I mean properly incredible, bag designer and bag maker. Um, I mean, just look at this one for instance. I mean, her, the quality of her work, and everything that she does, bag-wise, is amazing. It's just, I can't, I can't blow her trumpet enough, as it were, do you know what I mean? Because she's absolutely amazing at what she does. And we're very, very lucky, really, to have her here. I'll just talk to the bag then, shall I? I'm ve <laughs> we're very, very, very lucky to have her here. And I'm very pleased that she's here, because she's a good laugh as well. She's a nightmare otherwise. She's got a husband called Ginger Ninja. She's got two lovely kids that, um, that, that uh, and she, when she works from home, it looks like she's in a fabulous New York studio. She's actually in her kitchen. If you look closely, you'll see the fridge just there. <laughs> He's watching any of her YouTube videos, the fridge is there. Anyway, everybody, Becky Alexander Frost, Frost Alexander, is in the building. There she is. Hi. You look at the big one there in front of you there. Which one? That big one, the big one there. That's it. Uh, so now a lot of you know, Becky used to be a guest when we were at uh, Sewing Quarter. And we got into trouble a lot because we used to laugh too much and mess around. But we won't do that today. We'll be very sensible today. But so I've had so many messages, Becky, going, I can't believe she's coming back. I can't wait to see her. It's lovely to see her. And why? Everything like that. <laughs> why? Yeah, exactly. why? That's my, my question. Why? So, so let, before we start the bag, how have you been, first of all? Fine. Yeah. And the family are all good? Yeah, they're very, very good. Brilliant. Yep. 
That's it. No, yeah. no, 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 no. No gossip. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> I told you she was dull, didn't I? <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, can I just say these? All the bags you brought for sale, as all your bags, are just exquisite. And I'm not, I'm not messing around now. I mean, she really. When somebody's good at their job, it's an absolute delight to work with and see what she, what she can. And what is brilliant is she makes it so that you can make a bag like this, which will look like you've bought it from the most expensive designer store. That's what I love about <coughs> it. Because you know, earlier I was talking about her, the, the, the um, hardware for a bag. She has everything made, especially for each of the projects, right? And it's all designed for the project. So it's not like, oh, get some old D-ring or get some old clasp. All of this, which makes it look so professional, it's all in the bundle here, look. It's just incredible. Everything that you need. And they're all perfectly matching. They're all exquisite and they look amazing. Look at that bag. It, to, to, to just to things like, look at here, the little... Um, I don't know what call these strap ends that you put on there and everything like that. They're just exquisite, aren't they? Just lovely. Okay, I'll shut up now. She's had enough. She's had enough of my uh, what's it for today. Anyway, it's beautiful, isn't it? So, what am I going to offer first? Right, okay. So, the first thing I'm going to offer is the pattern for this bag and all the hardware. Now, am I allowed to open this? Yeah. Well, mm, yeah. <laughs> all right, I'll open it. Won't lose anything. Because I just want you to see what you get. So, hang on. For $49.99. Now... <clears throat> Don't be going, oh, 49 99 You get so much for your 49 99 in here, right? So, there's, this is all exclusive to us, remember. So you get the instructions, which we'll be going through during the hour, because obviously that's being made. Top quality zips, look, zip. You get your one-touch fastening. You get your other zip. Then, you get, look at these. Look at the quality of these. I mean, so there's your class. How many? Quarter stock's gone already. We've only been at it two minutes. Quarter stock's gone already. Right, so there's your um, clasp. There, now, look at look at these, right? These are... Oh, it'd be nice in focus, wouldn't it? <laughs> these D-rings and sliders are the most... Well, I don't they call that... It's not called a D-ring, is it? What's that called? Rectangular. Rectangle, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <And> a, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> that was helpful. And a slider. That's a slider, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Top, 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 top notch quality. But look, 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 look. There's your D-rings. There's your swivel clips. Um, what do you call them? Uh, they're lobster claps. Lo lobster what? Lob claps. claps. <laughs> lobster clap, that one. That'd be clever. Uh, then, did you know, did you know this? A bit of information about lobsters. They feel no pain. No, they don't. Don't feel any pain. Because I used to think when you see them in the restaurant, they put them in the pan, you'd be like, <laughs> no. They feel no pain. They feel no pain. Anyway, shush, 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 shush. So then we've got D-rings. And we've got like, a baby's ladder. No, right. So you see, there's something underneath your hand called that's got this, handmade. That go that goes in the back of that, does it? No, it goes on the front of the back. No, that oh, goes on the yeah, front, but that yeah. the ladder goes yeah, on the back the of that, doesn't it? And then more D rings, and then what? I'm not going to open. Oh, they're, they're, they're what I was just talking the about. Strap they're, ends. Strap ends. All of that. You get all of this for your forty nine. Oh, sorry, I open the back now. And the instructions are a forty page booklet. And it's got templates, everything you need in there. Everything you need in there. So it is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic buy, that. Okay, totally and utterly exclusive to Sang Street. I'll put all that in there so it doesn't get lost. Oh, hang up. Here we go, Beverly. <coughs> Message on your bottom. Hi, John and Becky. Lovely to see you. It's my 53rd birthday day, and I've treated myself to the Jet Setter Bag Kit. Have a wonderful show from Beverly. Oh, happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> She's the same age as you, is she? No. <laughs> are, you, are you older than that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, there's so much detail on the bag. Shall we just show you around it, right? So look, here we go. So there's your little pocket on the front. That's the little thing we just said that was the handmade clasp. Look how beautiful. Everything about it makes you look so professional, doesn't it? There's the clasp that we just talked about with your pocket. <clears throat> now you see on the back here, we talked about the travel. See this? That is so that you can put it over. If you've got a suitcase with a standy uppy arm, that goes round. And Becky says she's practiced it on all all um, suitcases. She's practiced it on different things. And then there's another, like a one-touch fastening uh, pocket on the back there. And then uh, uh, you've got the zip detailing here, so it opens both ways. And obviously you don't get all the bubble wrap in there. It's just to make it look there. Isn't it lovely? Hannah always takes bubble wrap on holiday with her. She sits on the airplane popping the bu 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 bubbles. 
Anyway, 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 that, that's finishing. So the instructions on their own. If you don't want to do the hard way, you just want the instructions on their own. Half the stock has gone. Whoa. Oh, half the stock has gone with the hardware has gone, sorry. Pattern on its own now. £13.50. The thing is, if you're going to make it, just buy the one with the hardware in. And I'm not trying to stop you from buying this, obviously. Because you might have your own hardware or anything. But just everything all matches so beautifully. It's all in one. And also, also the reason we haven't done it... We've, done, we've got bundles of fabrics. So you can make them in Becky's colourways and everything. But you might have your fabric at home, might you? That you think, oh, I don't, I, don't want, I, I don't want it in the tool. I don't want it in the cave. You know what I mean? But you can... You, if you bought that bundle there, you can make it in whatever fabric you've got at home. Anyway, oh, here we go. Uh, great to see John and Becky together again. It's been too long from uh, Comma in Essex. <laughs> no name on that one. But thank you very much indeed, Comma. Right, now, shall we go through the fabric bundles next? Oh, um, I thought everything was looking a bit weird. I haven't got my glasses on. There you go. Queen of Hearts bundle first, which is what you'd use to make this one. Ooh. Right. So you've got your PU. Now, don't be frightened by PU. If you've never used PU before, please don't be frightened. Becky will tell you more about it later. So you get your half a metre of your PU. Then you've got your, that looks like natural seeded, but I could be wrong. Oh, cotton cream. Two metres of that. And then you get a metre. Look at that. Of your Tula. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's upside down, sorry. Yeah, metre, that's three and a half metres in total for your $34.99. Now, the thing is, you might not be making Becky's bag. You might be making another of her patterns. Um, that fabric come in handy to make lots of, lots of projects. So that's your first bundle. Your second bundle is... Yeah, Anna Marie Horner. <clears throat> so there's your pattern fabric. So you've got your, your, your mustard PU on this one. You've got your Arnhemry Horner poppies there. And then you've got your cream fabric, $34.99. So obviously that's for the handles, the flap, the pocket on the front. <clears throat> the PU is for the main bag. And then the cotton's for the lining. Okay. And then last but not least, we've got Kaif. This is lovely. Rear, this one's very popular on pre-order. So you've got that lovely aubergine colour. And then you've got, oh, look, lilac. Plus your cave. That'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Uh, for, oh, 34 99 We kept all the designer ones for the same price, 34 99 Now, now, what you also need... Oh, here you go. Susan says, what a stunning bag. Good to see Becky back with you. Michelle says, love in the bag. Be perfect for taking to the office. On, and on the office trolley. Laura says, morning, John and Becky. So proud to see my bestie back on telly. <laughs> yeah, she's my oh, best friend. How much did you have to pay her to send that one in? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. No, Laura, no. Uh, Princess, trust me, you'll not find better instructions with lots of step-by-step -step pictures, says Princess. Uh, Sue says, morning, John and Baffa. Lovely to see the dynamic duo back in action. Lynn Tewitt says, morning, Becky Alexander Frost. Patterns and hardware are second to none. Real detailed instructions with so many pictures to help you too. Becky's hardware is absolutely fantastic quality and such great value for money. I buy all my hardware from her. That's Princess. Blimey, look at all these people. Donna says, good morning, John and Becky. Lovely to see you back, Becky. Uh, lovely to see beautiful Baffer again. Oh, she's obviously watching the wrong channel. Um, great to see you and Becky back together. She is so good, says Carol. Hello, Becky, says Isabel. It's nice to hear your chuckle again. Looking forward to seeing you and John together. Laurie says, morning, Becky. Good to see you back with John. Uh, I'm on Sewing Street. Your bags look great. Diane says, love. Hi, lovely Becky. Lo says, morning, Fred. Oh, uh, I'll explain that. Okay, okay, then we'll have to do it on air. Good morning, John and Becky and team. I love bag making so much. I'm looking forward to this. I will let... Uh, we're going to... Uh, uh, Sally Ann Harrison, morning both, cheering you on. Elizabeth says, morning, great to see Becky. I love her work and I love that she's so precise. Have a great morning. And Gillian says, hello, Bex. Is that hello. another friend of yours? Hello. hello. Uh, Jenny says, morning. Uh, oh, uh, Margaret says, look at everyone, Baffer and John back together. Right, okay, sorry, I just had to read those out. We don't normally get that many messages, so... Thank you. Thank missed. you ever so much. Right. Now, I've also got to tell you that you do need some interfacings as well. Yeah. Yes. Now, you know that Becky, every single bag she makes, if you've ever made a bag, <coughs> she puts this on every piece of fabric. No, enough. That's yet. just a straight 
It's it's a straight thing. Yeah, near enough, every single bag, that goes on to every piece of fabric. You might already have your own. 3 99 will get you a meter there. Okay. Now, Becky will explain this. You can make it with Bosal or H640 or both. Right, so you need the H640 for the complete bag if you are a very beginner. Right, so let's put that one in first. So H640, and a metre will be enough. Won't a metre will be enough. Right, okay. So if you're a complete beginner, never made it before, buy that. Yeah. Right. But also got to explain, if you're taking it as an on-flight bag, you need to take the weight into consideration because right. the H640 weighs a bit. You see, we had this conversation earlier, didn't we? Yeah. So if, if, you, if you are taking it as an on-board bag, then don't use H640. You can do. You've just got to take it into the weight consideration. consideration. And you're weighing it, yeah, yeah, of course. Jan Hill says, woohoo, the dream team. Have a great day, Becky. I certainly will. <laughs> oh, right. And, but then this, then. This is one-sided, sticky-on-y bosal. Yeah. Yeah, which is so good. So if you're a bit more advanced, you use both, do you? Yeah. Okay. And the, well, we're going to explain, but the instructions explain why and how and yeah. everything like that, don't they? So there's your Bosley 1199. <clears throat> right. Oh, hang on. The, the, the pattern with the hardware. Oh, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. So please be careful. You've got it in your basket. So the, the pattern with the hardware that I just opened there. Nearly. Pan with all that fantastic hardware and the zips and the one-touch fastening, everything you need, that, the, the, we're in the teen figures, so that's going to go lo loads. you got that in your basket. Oh, also, just so you know, in the next hour with Becky, she's doing two bags, right? On pre-order, they're absolutely flying out in the next hour bag. So that'll be the backpack and the uh, put your knickers in bag. What's that one called? <laughs> Walk with me, bag. I was called put your knickers in. I thought it was that one where you spend overnight just you take your knickers in. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Right, should we go on with some sewing? Should we go on with sewing? Okay, right. Um, oh, now, see, I thought you see Bozel. Uh, Bozel, no, I thought Bozel was heavier, Sue, as well. I know. Th things you learn. You Becky knows learn. she's the boss. The amount of experiments I had to do for that bag because I was so worried that someone was going to come to me and say it's too heavy and I had to pay more e extra luggage allowance and stuff like yeah. so you can ask Lynn to it because she is my proofreader right and she basically was waiting and waiting for the pattern but I kept saying no I'm holding back I want to do more research yeah so yeah perfect right so what are you gonna, obviously we can't make the whole bag in an hour so what are we going to do no so I'm going to talk a bit um of how to do the actual front um pocket yeah um I'm also going to talk to you about the actual nylon zip because people think because it looks like metal, you can sew over it, cut through it and everything. And I'm going to show you if the sliders fall off, I'm going to show you how to put oh, the Oh, this bit here. Now, isn't it funny? I just presumed it was a designer metal zip, but it's not. No, no, no. I can get it made. You see, this colour. is what I mean about Becky thinks about everything and gets it made specially for you. Yeah. Which is brilliant. Okay. So and then we'll I'm going to talk a bit about the pattern pieces. Okay, as that well. takes us to the weekend. What are you doing after that? <laughs> Greg's is over there. Oh, Greg's. yeah, Greg's is there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's do the front, front pocket, pocket first. first. Okay, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. Right, so you've got your main outer piece and I am in camera yeah yep. main outer piece and your lining piece are both interfaced now the reason why you need um, the fusible fleece for both com um, for both you know when you're using the fusible fleece and the fusible foam yeah the fleece is actually just for the pockets on the outside um, but if you are making the whole bag in fusible fleece it doesn't matter really okay. but you need to basically fuse the fusible fleece to the back of the main outer, but you need to actually have a seam allowance right. free. So we're going to pop those right sides together. And going to clip all the way around. Uh -huh. So on my sewing machine, <clears throat> I've got Gutemann Sew All Thread because um, it's got elasticity in the thread. This is what Lo was getting at because I can't say for red. Oh, thread, thread. <laughs> yeah, because you also say free instead of three. Yeah, but 
<laughs> if you watch the video where Becky and I were on telly last, <laughs> um, she absolutely lost it. She was so unprofessional. She was giggling away anything. And one of the things was that she kept saying free. And I kept saying, what's free? What's free? Like, no, stitch free. <laughs> Not that I'm taking the mickey. No, and with all bag making, I use a walking foot. Right. And I also use a size 16 needle, okay. universal 16 needle. Okay, so now, most people will be sitting at home. I mean, that machine is brilliant, right? You love that machine, don't you? It's your I baby do, machine. Yeah. But don't think you need to have an industrial, well, no. that's not industrial, but semi-type industrial machine. You can no. do it on a normal machine, can't you? As long you? as you've got a walking foot, you can change the stitch length and um, you can put a, walk, um, a size 16 needle and you'll be... Perfect. That's I just don't want people to think, oh, I can't do this if I haven't got that machine. The machine, we have got the machine, it's £1,699 uh, if you want it, and you can open split pay and everything, but we're not here to talk about the machine. Today. No. But right. Be Becky's got this machine. Right, so I'm going to stitch all the way around, but I'm going to leave a turning gap of about three inches on the top, uh -huh. on the straight edge. Right, okay. Freddie says, morning, John and Becky. Lovely to see you both. Bless her, says Freddie. <laughs> oh. Just have to work it. Been a long time. <laughs> so, it's like you've never been away, Becky. You've slotted right back in, says Princess. <laughs> Sorry, my shoes having to come off. I can't feel press a foot. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Do you want me to come and hold you up? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm using the stitch um, a seam allowance of one centimetre. Okay. And all the, uh, I, I might open the instructions. You, you keep looking at the sewing, don't talk to me. But I just want you to see, because they're so thorough. You take so many pictures, don't you? Nim? But not just that. In the next two weeks, there'll be a full video. Oh, excuse me. So. Is that on your YouTube channel? Yeah, and all what, my patterns. Is that RJF makes it? Is that what people look yep. for? Uh, okay, while she's saying that, can I, am I able to show this? Uh, Emma, just, just, <clears throat> this instruction on their own that I'm showing you at the moment. But you get them in if you buy the one with the, with the hardware, you do get it. But look, right, look how much information there is in here, right? This is what we're doing now, the flap and everything. But look, 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 look. So it's brilliant for people who like doing instructions with words, but also for visual people who do things by, look at this, look at this. I mean, you think she never, ever leaves you on your own. And, it, even, and if you flounder, message her on, on Facebook or email or anything, she'll answer. Yep. She might swear at you, but she'll, she'll answer. <laughs> but beautiful, isn't it? And then all your templates and everything, look. Sorry. Come on, John. Look. Every single thing that you need is all there. So you're getting the work that's gone into this is incredible. But it means that you end up getting the most professional looking bag. Right, sorry, back to you, Becky. That's all right. Right, so I've um, gone all the way around uh -huh. and I'm going to leave the actual seam allowance in where the turning gap is, but I'm going to trim it all the way around to one eighth of an inch away from where I've sewn. Yeah. So just bear with me. I'm not that fast. Do you know, since sewing court, I've slowed down sewing. <laughs> oh, have you? Yeah. Why? Because I can't make fast. <laughs> Uh, Lynn says, I'm waiting for Becky to say, can we go to the overhead camera now, please? <laughs> um, and Sue says, you should have heard her at Stitching and Knitting Show last year. Oh, this is you. Lisa Lamb had everyone in pieces with the sour sweeties. Mm -hmm. What was that all about? Didn't you see the video when we were at Stitches? No. So um, there was a, a bloke selling all like um, strange sweets. Yeah. And there was a sour ball one and Lisa Lamb put it in. You could hear it from... Miles. Oh no, I didn't see that. <laughs> uh, Sue says, I hate wordy patterns. Baffer's patterns are a joy to use for us nerds and the idle like me. Aww. <laughs> and says, good luck with John, <clears throat> Becky. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, so I've turned that right side face now and poked out the corners. I'm right. keeping my seam allowance pointing up at the moment. I'm just going to give it a really good press. Right. Do you steam or... Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Puff the dragon. Yep. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is... is top stitch, one eighth of an inch away around just the curve edge. I'm not going to top stitch that edge there. Uh -huh. I'm going to knock my stitch length up to a stitch length of 3.5. Uh-huh.
blimey not kidding about how slow you've gone. Yeah, and I've just gone off. So don't look at my top stitching, please. Well, oh, don't, don't be saying that. <laughs> A message from Deborah. Is it on our bottom? Yep. Yeah. Morning both. Really enjoying the show. I've ordered kits and the H640 and can't wait to make the first bags. Where can I get needles for the 680? Elna 680. I've got one of those. Uh, just buy Schmetz. We've got them on the website. Just yeah, buy Schmetz. Say. Just buy Schmetz needle on the website. I was going to say you sell Schmetz, don't Sorry? you? You sell Schmetz, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. Right, so the two top seams I'm going to poke up inside inside that gap there and uh -huh. give it a good press. So I like to make sure this is slightly larger than the seam poking inside, which is the lining. Right, because? Because you can see it, because we're top stitch over it. So. Oh, you don't want a bit of cream showing through that. Yeah. Really, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you wouldn't know she was nervous, would you? She's, we just started it. I'm ever so nervous, John. You don't, you're not coming across as nervous at all. <laughs> Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is find the centre of the, uh -huh. the bottom. So, okay. so I've got a friction pen because it can disappear. Uh -huh. Available on the website. Yep. I'm making satchel book bags for my boys and like you find a longer stitch length works really well, says Claire. Yeah. Right, so I found the centre. Now we're going to work with the, the press lock. Right. So I don't know if you sell H2, Gutemann H2. We do. Is that the one with, with yes, we sell Solvent. that. I don't know if we've got them in stock at the moment. It's, it's the one with, what's it called? Solvent. No, solvent. Yeah, with solvent. Yes, yeah. we do. We do. Because there was an issue, when we used to be at Sewing Quarter, there was an issue we had to stop, stop selling, selling that it, one. But yeah. we, now, we do sell it here. If it's in stock, it's available on the website. Right, so where the... Oh, out of stock at the moment. Where the... The knobbly bit is in the centre. I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> well, I just did. <laughs> what is that the official number? The knobbly bit on here. The round circle bit there in the centre. Uh, yeah. You've got to make sure that's your centre. So right. where you actually marked up the centre, you're going to push that on and squeeze it. But we're going to put some glue on first. Oh, it literally goes at the bottom. It dangles down, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is just the um, what we call the male part of the... It's all explained <laughs> using naughty words now. <laughs> right, so you've got um, some. Uh, Emma. Wait. Yeah, brilliant. Right, so you've got some a jagged edged on one side, which is the back of the actual um, press lock, uh -huh. and you've got a, um, a flat bit. You're going to put the glue in the flat bit. Right. You're just going to put a little bit. Now you should wait for that to go sticky, but we haven't got the time. No. So. You're going to push that on, and you're going to squash it down. Okay. Pam Mini Harley says, morning all, just ru rush back from the school run, see lovely Baffer. Oh, and John, of course. <laughs> Jackie says, it's lovely to hear you both giggling away. Uh, and we're waiting for the cut and press. We don't know when it's coming in. We're, we're at the mercy of the deliverers, I'm afraid. I'll let you know, though. Right, right, so okay. that's cured on, but it's best to wait for the glue to actual set. So you just slid it, slid it in? I slid it in and pushed it down. Oh, okay, so okay, pushed yeah. it, so the, um, the front and the back. Yeah. And then what happens is the little hooks, that the little jagged bits that were inside, yeah. hook into the fabric at the back and it like literally digs in. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to pop that to one side and move on to the actual uh, front pocket. Yeah. So you need your template piece for this. Right. So you've got this triangle bit at the bottom. Yeah. I advise you not to cut it out because that is actually a dot. Right. What I tell you to do is cut two little bits out where the black marks are on the edge. Yeah. And the hole. Yeah. And what we're going to do is on the wrong side of the actual pattern pieces, uh, the pieces that you've cut out, is draw on those little marks. Okay. So. Becky Ann has just said there are so many lovely messages coming in for you. Oh. Well, we might, we'll try and put them through the bottom, but I mean, it's just so many coming <coughs> through. If I don't read it, don't be offended. Oh, look, greetings to my two favourite people. I have to read this one. Gorgeous John and my sewing sister Bex. Wonderful to see you back together from Linda in Devon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
Hannah says she sorry she won't be able to show them all. There's just so many. Right, okay, so you mark the dart on both I've sides. Marked, yeah. I've marked the dart on both sides. Yeah. I've done the dot and the two little marks on the edges. Yeah. I'm just going to do it on the same on this one. Right. Now on this, you're going to use a seam allowance of um, one fourth. Quarter. Quarter. Yeah, that's my American chat for American followers. Yeah. So. Now I heard you. I heard you talking to Jules earlier. You've you've got a huge following in America now. Yeah, haven't you? I do. Yeah. And I, can you understand what you're saying and everything? <laughs> <laughs> do you know? I have to go through all my um, my uh, YouTube channel and put so. Um, what subtitles? Cor correct all the subtitles because it, you know. For red, it oh, comes up yes, with yes. Fred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also, it comes. Sometimes you can say something very, very innocent, and it comes up with a rude word. I know things, it does. It? You have yeah. To be so careful. Yeah. So that's why my uh, videos take a bit longer to come out because obviously I'm doing the subtitles. Being yeah. dyslexic as well. It really helps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So where you've got the um, the marks yeah. on the edges, you're going to match those up together. Right. And pop a clip on. You don't use pins at all, do you? Really. No, not really, no. no. Only if the fabric's like really moving around. Yeah. A man says, lovely to see Baffer again. What a team. <laughs> That's me, me and yeah. you, not just you. <laughs> You're gonna do that on both pieces. Okay. Right, so where the dot is at the top, yeah. you're going to sew up to. So I always start from the edge up to the top and right. you're going to reverse your stitch at the start and at the end right and then you're not going to trim the dot oh you don't trim it so it's like a dressmaking dot you leave it in yeah but we do open it up oh okay <clears throat> just knocking my stitch length down to a standard stitch length uh -huh. <clears throat> So are you saying on the actual line? There is no line. Oh no, but what would what the line would be between the dot and the and the notch? Yeah. So yeah. my dot, my mark was there. Hang on, we'll just look at that. Yeah. So my mark was there and my dot is there. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm so just you sew on what would be that line? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sandra in Australia said, "Oh, John, is this lady your laughing friend?" <laughs> <laughs> And Julie says, such a great demo, always, always so detailed. She is, isn't she? She's brilliant. Crazy Lorraine says, hi, Becky. Great to see you both back together again. That's Crazy Lorraine that makes the bags every day, isn't it? It is. It yeah. is, yeah. <clears throat> oh. No, wrong button. It's because I'm sewing at an angle. What's this angle all about? What's the matter? <laughs> the angle. Oh no, it's because you have to stand <laughs> up and do everything. Oh you no, 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 I stand up sewing at home. Oh, do you? Yeah. Mm. It's good for your posture. It's because it's you're so short, you can't tell the difference, <laughs> can you? Because <laughs> you had a whole new one of these delivered. Yeah, didn't you? it's this high. But actually. Uh, where do you eat your food now then? Because wasn't that the kitchen table? Trays. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's no kitchen table anymore. Oh. No. <laughs> Right, okay, so we've done the darts, we're yeah. going to open them up. So you're going to get your scissors right up into the dart mark. Yeah. And open them up. Oh, I see, so you don't cut it away, but you do cut it so that it opens. So you don't yeah. cutting, you're not cutting any of the fabric off. No, we're not. Right? Um, reason being is it just adds that extra, if you are going to overstuff it, like the one I've got on my suitcase, I have overstuffed it yeah. with my hand cream and my hand sanitizer and that. Right. So it just protects it. So you can stitch along that but I'm not going to. Okay. Right, so you're going to pop these right sides together. <clears throat> and this time we're going to leave a turny gap at the bottom but oh, before okay. we go any further we need to put the, the press lock, the other part of the press lock. Oh, on. okay, yes of course. Yep. Just bear with me. Right, okay. So you're going to need your washer your um, female part of your lock and a pen. Yeah. 
No, just bear with me because the measurements uh, from the centre, measure down. Yep, I was right. <laughs> well, you wrote them, didn't you? <laughs> oh, just now she's got blue hair. I've got multicoloured underneath. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very nice. Right, so from the centre top. Yeah. You're going to measure down. Now, am oh, I okay? no, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> am I okay to give measurements out? Yeah, 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 it's up to you. That's yeah. fine. So that's three and three quarters. Yeah. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. One, One two, two, three, three. and she's a half. She's got a ruler with numbers on, but she still has to count. Um, Anne says, Becky, we'll wait while she gives John a thump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope you can be on lots more, uh, Becky. <laughs> right. As fast as she can design things, she'll be on. Right, okay, so. I got the centre mark. Now, in the pattern, um, can I just show this? Yeah. In the yours, yours, that's obviously a big version of yeah. the one you're going to get, yeah. It's because I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> right, so in the pattern, the washers are slightly different. Right. Now, in the pack, the hardware pack, I have actually got additional instructions with the hardware. Right. Um, on how to install this part. Oh, okay. Oh, that, I thought that was a screwdriver. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, just basically read this but follow the instructions that are on in the, pack. In the pattern yeah. so you need to basically find the center so you're going to get your friction pen and my center is about there you're just going to draw it on top okay you got on the back of your female part yeah. you need the collar at the top right so at the top you've got the one prong on the back and then the two prongs at the bottom mm -hmm. So you've got to make sure you put your washer the correct way. So I'm just eyeballing that. And then where the washer lies, where those cutout marks are, you're going to have to pop your marks in. Right. Then you're going to get a pin and a seam ripper. A bit like what you do with a buttonhole. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you don't go... Tearing all the way through, through it. it. Yeah. And you're going to do that for all three. Now, if you've got some fray check yeah. or fray stop or whatever it's called, you need to put some of that on. I haven't brought mine with me. And we don't sell it here, I don't <coughs> think. No. I've not seen it since I've been here. Um, Okay, morning John Scott, Becky Alexander Frost. I've been trying to choose a name for my new car and I'm going to call it Fred the Fiat because of Becky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor car. <Yeah. laughs> right, so you're going to pop this all the way through, yeah. those holes. Now, hopefully you've just poked that hole enough on the back. There you go. Now, if you're finding that it's not padded out enough, you can just go ahead and put some f more fusible fleece, but I find with this type of lock, you don't need to. You're going to get your washer and you're going to pop that on. Okay. And you're going to close this up. Now, because we're putting lining fabric on, my suggestion is, and other brands are available, but some duct tape. Yeah, 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 that's fine, yeah. Electrical, you call it electrical tape, don't they? Yeah. So I've got my electrical tape. Where'd you get that from? Oh, uh, I know this. What have I dreamt this? Lisa Lamb had some pink oh, one, Oh, no, that's right. She had pink one. Yeah, she about, yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, Dee says, laughter is the best medicine. Sitting here chuckling away to myself. Loving you on the telly again. <laughs> and, uh, oh, now, Sue, is there PU on the website? Sue says, uh, she can't find any PU apart from mustard <coughs> on the app. Are we expecting more soon? Vicks we'll double check for you soon now. Vix was selling it yesterday. Oh, Vix was selling yesterday, so that might be why you can't see it. We'll just double check for you. Right, so I've just popped that over the top. Yeah. Now, now we're going to pop this right sides together. Right, yeah. Always match up the top edge first. Mm -hmm. And then clip. Your dot should match up. You need to open up your two dots. Now, did you slice the lining one the same as you sliced the main I one? I did, yet? yeah. I just like to leave the fabric in. Um, no, I agree. It's 
You do it with dressmaking anyway, don't you? Yeah. So, and that's my dressmaking background. You are? My dressmaking background, that is. Opening up the dots and leaving them. Yeah. Have any of your kids got exams this year? Um, They're not old enough yet. One, no. One's just going into um, GCSEs oh, okay. next year. Yeah. Okay, that does fit. Now yeah. you have to bunch it up yeah, yeah, to yeah. fit there. Now we're going to sew um, from here all the way around to here. We're going to leave a turning gap at the bottom this time. So that's and is that marked on the pattern or do you have to mark it? No, yourself? you have to mark it on yourself. That's okay. Um, I'll just mark it on so yeah. you know. So we're going from there to there. I'm just going to pop two more clips in because that keeps moving. Okay. <clears throat> And we're going to sew um, three eighths of an inch all the way around. That's one okay. centimetre. Are all your seam allowances written in the pattern? They are, yeah. Because you, you've used a few... I use caught, um They're basically, every step has got the seam allowance okay, on. Okay, perfect. Because you've used different bits at different points, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I never used to actually put the seam allowance um, in only at the notes. But then I thought, what about if you're beginning and you forget? Yeah. And you're coming from a quilting world. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You automatically just do a quarter of an inch, wouldn't yeah. you? So when I always get to where the corner is, I always like to backstitch because I know I'm getting my poke tool up into it. Yeah. Um, Sue, so it's not you being thick, my love. Anna can only find the gold, the mustard one as well, so she's having a look for it now. No, no I, I haven't called her thick. She's put, am I being thick? So it wasn't me being rude. Yeah, you search PU, you can only get mustard at the moment, but there are other, there must be, because Vic's had it on yesterday, maybe it's gone into a holding bay somewhere, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, she was so, um, selling bundles. She was doing bundles yesterday, was she? Yeah. Right, so where you come to the last bit, you're going to reverse your stitch. Uh-huh. No, it's not the best of seams. And you're going to trim all the way around, uh -huh. but leave the seam allowance at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Now, you had the pattern template out before, didn't you? I did. It's still here. Yeah, mine's slightly different. Um, so could I just... Hang on a sec then, which bit? Right, so you know the main body piece? This one here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hang on, uh, Emma. Oh, brilliant, thank right, you. Right, so you've got a U-shape at the bottom. Here? Or here? Um, at the bottom, uh, inner, inside. Yep, that's the one. Right, so the dotted bit, you're going to have to get a quick on pick and go around mark, making holes along that. Why? Because it's where your pocket placement is and you need to be able to draw it onto the PU. Oh, oh, you don't mean in the in the fabric, you mean in the pattern. In the pattern. I was thinking, what on earth is she talking about? <laughs> so in the pattern, you need to punch your holes in there and then get your friction pen yep. and putting it through. And you can mark it onto the PU um, and then if you basically miss the sewing part of that, then you can get a wet cloth and it wipes off easily. Yep. So And it doesn't come back on PU. No. Um, we also sell a rotary cutter blade that's just for paper and it does a dot, 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 dot on it. So yeah. if you've got that, because it comes in a set of three and we always go, I don't know what you need this one for. That's what you need that one for. Yeah. 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 Hannah uses hers when she does pretend cinemas <laughs> in her garden and she does it to do the tickets. Next one. One. <laughs> Yeah, you could buy that um, that transfer paper, can't you? That goes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a or use your tracing wheel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we're going to poke up the bit at the bottom. Uh huh. And we're going to press all the way around. Lovely. Uh, I need to warn you or tell you that the pattern and hardware bundle has sold out. Has it? How did you say? More people got it in their baskets. So if you definitely want yours, then you need to check out. Yeah. 
Right, we just need to, I, I would point, but I can't, but we just need to check out. Right, so I'm just pressing the top bit first. Uh -huh. Now, if you've got a tailor's ham, that'd be ideal. Cause oh yeah, perfect, yeah. Yeah, ham's on the website. And then I'm just gonna poke that bit up inside. Now, like before, I'm gonna make sure the outer part is bigger. Uh-huh. Just slightly. Yeah, it's just because nothing worse is that when you put something, you just see the back popping through, not all the way around, just a little bit, and you think, oh. Now, I say in the pattern, you are meant to use um, the, the queen fabric as the lining on this as well, because obviously you can see it. Yeah. However, to make your fabric go further, use the lining, because there's enough lining fabric there. Yeah. yeah. You're being mean, then. No, it's just too gorgeous fabric to be... <laughs> Just make a look. purse with that, couldn't you? You can make a little purse to go inside. You could. Now, this is not going to pattern match like the one on the bag. Right. Because I didn't have enough fabric. I'll just show you the one on the bag there. It's all pattern match. See there? That took me an hour to do. I bet it did. Look. Oh. Right. So the... Sorry if I'm going too fast. Um, the top edge here you're mm -hmm. going to top stitch um, on a stitch length 3.5 um, reverse stitch at the starting at the end and you're going to do it about one eighth of an inch away okay there you go i just realized what it's not in the center that's why it's not what <laughs> that's why my seam allowance is off because it's not in the center oh honestly <laughs> there you go Okay, the bundle that the sample is made from, there's only eight of those left. And that's at 10 to 10 on <laughs> Wednesday morning. Right, so the bit that is um, pushed up inside at the bottom, you're not going to do anything uh -huh. at the moment. There's an eye in there, Rebecca. <laughs> so you're going to move over to your main outer piece yeah. just fits on the camera um on the pu because your pu is a fashion pu it's yeah. got a stretch to it okay, so you perfect. definitely need to interface it right okay um and then you need to put the fusible fleece or the fusible foam on the back and yeah. make sure there is nothing in the seam allowance yeah so hannah yes you put your iron on interfacing on first yeah then you put your uh, other uh facing on interfacing on now you're going to get your pattern piece. Now mine's got a star on, um, obviously, because it's a digital download. Yeah. Right, okay, so I've marked, as you can probably see, I've got all little marks yeah. on the back here. I'm just going to pop those marks on. Now in the pattern, I say you need to um, use fabric glue, but obviously with PU, you can't use fabric glue. Right because it slips and slides, so you're going to have to use quilter's tape. Do you have quilter's tape in stock? Uh-huh. Yep. So I'll flip that over, and because I've got my holes, I know where the pocket placement is going. Mm -hmm. So you've got your quilter's tape, Right, and it's a double-sided quilter's tape, yeah. yeah. Available on the website. You're going to pop quilter's tape along that edge there. I need my scissors. Sorry. We, went, we might be going over a little bit on this hour, just to warn you, because I want to get the zippy details put in yet. Well, I'll just stick this on and just Yeah, no, no, I'm not trying to rush you, but I just say it, it, it's fine. It's, but, um, oh, there, oh, I sent you to the website. There's a double quilted, double-sided quilter's tape. Right, so I won't go round with yeah, the yeah, tape yeah. all the way round, because obviously it'd be here, there all day. Yeah. So you might want to um, give that a really good press, make sure there's quilter's tape on that mm -hmm. and stick that down. You're going to peel off the quilter's tape and where that marking is on the side that you're working on, the edge of your pocket should match up to the top one right. and you're sticking it right on top of 
right next to, shall I say, the marks. Yeah. And you're going to do that all the way around. And it should stick like that. Mm -hmm. You're going to top stitch. Now, if you want to be precise and top stitch again, do two rows. That's totally up to you, but I haven't got the confidence to do that. Do oh, okay. two rows. And then with your actual pattern piece for yeah. the um, placement of the this, Flat. you click it into place, run quilters tape along the top, yeah. use this, it's got markings on, and where the where it says fold over for the outer slip pocket, yeah. you fold it, and that's where this should land. Yeah. And then basically you will Quilter you haven't left anything out. You haven't left anything to chance, have you? Every no. single detail that you need is either in the instructions or it on the pattern is. or on both. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Shall I talk about this? Yes, please. Because do. obviously people are going to get yeah. a bit. Don't be scared. It's a zip. Nothing can really go wrong. Yeah. So if your zip pulls are off, it's so easy to put on. Yeah. You've got a triangle point bit there. You've got to make sure this part here is frayed free. So it's what fray free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a lighter on it um, and just basically singe the edges. You're going to slightly peel it open. Yeah. Now this side was my longer side. So you put the, um, the little bit that slides in on this one side here. Yeah. Onto the long side first. And then you hold it into place. Now I'm doing this back to front. Yeah. Open up the zip tape. Feed that on and you just push it into place. Now you bring it to this end. Right. And then you put the other slider on. Okay. So you've got to remember which side is the longer side. So that is my longer side. This side here is my longer side. Now don't pull that off. Yeah. Pop the zip pull onto the longer side. Feed the second piece in and push it in and it matches up into the centre. Brilliant. Now my advice is to sew over the two ends and you can sew over it. You don't need to um, be scared of it. I'm just going to sew over it. Okay, just to... so when yours arrives in the pack like that, the two, they're already in the middle, are they? I've installed all the zippers for you. Right. I've personally gone and done hundreds of zippers okay, for you then. guys. So, so is this only <coughs> if it falls off that you yeah, need to do that? Because it's, it's, otherwise it's already there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a lovely quality. So now I've taken out the package, they're beautiful quality. Right, so zip. it's a number five zip. And number five, the zip in the centre is measures five millimetres apart, right. so the coil. Um, now you need to take note of the seam allowance that I tell you to sew it in. So if you're using a number five zip, which that is, yeah. you need to sew it in at three eighths of an inch. Right. Now if you're doing the zip inside, which is a number three zip, Do you need to use it, yeah. a quarter of an inch or three eighths of yeah. an inch. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure that you just read the instructions as you're going through. So it's just really easy. Knock your stitch length up to a stitch length four. Yeah. And it's not breaking the needle, so don't be scared. Uh huh. And I've just sewn over that twice. And it's just so easy to do. And then basically you do the other end. Brilliant. So, and that's sewn over. And you won't lose your zipper pulls now. No. No. Excellent. Right, now, if you're going to make this at home, I mean, so many of you are, because I'll go through what's left in a second. We're going to go through everything now before I go, but I just want to say, if you have got it and you do come across anything that you're thinking, oh, I don't really understand that, don't be frightened about messaging no, you. Message what, what's me. the best way for them to message you? What would be the best way to contact you? Um, it's all in the pattern. Oh, it's all in the pattern. She's not giving that away. <laughs> it's all in the pattern. No. It might be her own personal email address. No, there is email. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's all sorts of ways, yeah. <laughs> Oh, now also, I'm allowed to say this, if you buy this pattern, or any of Becky's patterns, you can join her monthly club as well, can't you? Yeah. So that's something else, but I'll, I won't get into it now, but it's on, it's on the pattern, so you could become an exclusive mm -hmm. uh, they get to know the background. fan or whatever. All my club members knew about Sewing Street way before I interrupted. Before it. I did? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now you're back in an hour. I am. And you're going to be doing the rucksack. And you're going to be talking, we're going to be talking about the... Walk With Me bag, not the knickers bag. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> the Walk With Me walk, bag. Walk, all right, what's this one called then? The um, commuter backpack, because it fits a 15-inch laptop. Oh, get you. Right, so thanks ever so much. Sorry. Brilliantly. We'll see you in an hour's time. Right, let me go through everything then. So, where shall I start, Hannah? <laughs> 
Okay, so now there's more people got this in their baskets than we've got stock of. Please, if you definitely, definitely want it, check out because lots of you are going to get sold out when you come to check out. You get the instructions and you get every bit, all the hardware, the outside zip, the inside zip, the one-touch fastening, the D-rings, the handmade sign, the lobster clasp, everything, the sliders, the rectangles. Every, the D-rings, everything you need in there, $49.99. But you also get the instructions with all the templates and everything in there as well. Exclusive to Side Street. The pattern on its own. Oh, she's off. She's, she's not even waiting for the end of the show. She's No, no, you can go. You can go. <laughs> she's off to Greg's. That's where she's off to. <laughs> right, pattern on its own. Oh, more people in baskets than we've got stock of. 13.50, but obviously if you do that, you have to source your own hardware. Okay, now, bundle the, to make this one of fabric, so you get half a metre of PU, you get a metre of the Queen's Head from Tula, and you get a metre and a half, was it that one? Metre and a half of your cotton. 34.99. Single figures of that one left now. Okay. Cave next has absolutely flown out. So basically, you get um, your uh, half meter of your cave, your half, no, your meter of your cave, your half meter of your PU, and your meter and a half of your lilac. There's only four of those left now. Only four of those left. Okay, lovely. And then the Arna Maria Horner one here. So this is your mustard PU, half a metre. Metre of your poppies and a metre and a half of your cream. Okay. Now you'll also need some iron-on interfacing, which is here. Three ninety nine. Okay, H640 here, if you're just a beginner and you're just going to use your H640, then this is it here, that's your metre piece there. If you're more advanced, you want both, you want the H640 and you want the bosal, one-sided bosal. That's there. The fabrics on their own are all on the website, you've already, you've already seen those, what's available of those have already sold out. Right, don't go anywhere, do not go anywhere. Uh, Jules is up next and we're making some Helen Newton cushions. And Glenys, I'm sending you my love. I didn't mean to offend you earlier. I was just worried that you'd bought it yesterday and it was, uh, it was more affordable today. So please, please don't think I've offended you. Uh, sorry if I've offended you. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So 
I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance so I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Sewing has been part of the great British heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Now remember, everyone who buys something today, whether it's the early bird, whether it's the panel of the week, whether anything, anything you buy today, right? Not just from me off the telly, but from Sewing Street, your name will go into a um, proverbial virtual hat. And tomorrow will be, in, in a little while, not now, but in a little while, I'll be announcing yesterday's winner. All you have to do is buy something. Today's prize is fantastic. Look, it says the Queen's Birthday Large Hexes, 2K Facet 5 Inch Charm Packs and the Sewing for Soul book. I've got it all here. So there's your two. That's called Ocean and... Now, I got this wrong the other day, didn't I? Equator. Equator. Not... Now, did it say volcano? I think I said eruption or earthquake or something like that, didn't I? Anyway, so you get those. You get the book, Jules Fallon. Oh, Sewing for the Soul. I've never seen that one before. Oh, isn't that lovely? So you get that and you get this panel here. Now, this was celebrate the Queen's 95th birthday. So if you ignore that one and that one, you could use it for the Jubilee next year, couldn't you? Yeah. Anyway, that's today's prize. And tomorrow I will announce the winner of that bundle. And later on today, I'll announce the winner of yesterday's bundle. Okay, so Jules is back and we're gonna be doing some Helen Newton cushions. Now, she, no, not those. They, they, <laughs> The red ones, first of all, the red ones, first of all, because this is this is what we're going to be demoing, the Tide Cushion Cover, a sewing pattern by Helen Newton. Now, I've got the um, pattern on its own, and I've also got the pattern with um, bundles as well. So let me do the, the bundles, first of all. So the first bundle is the one that um, Jules has already made, which is this one here. So you get the instructions, you get that beautiful red floral on an ecru background, and... You get the red here. Beautiful. £27.99. You get all of that. All of that for £27.99. And that'll make two cushions. Enough to make two cushions. 
Okay, then I've got this one here. Oh, no, hang on, which one are you demoing? This one, the purple one next, which is beautiful. I haven't, don't recognise this fabric. Oh, let me move that. Don't recognise that fabric, I don't think. Oh, it is, I have seen, it's Anna Green Gables. Anna Green Gables, plus your magenta, plus your instructions there. Okay, so now, if you're buying it from the website, you'll see this, plus a little square with that in the corner. You'll see a picture of the red cushions. Little square of purple in the corner. Okay, rightio, moving on. Then I've got the, this is lovely, this one. I love this fabric. Michael Miller. So you get that, that, and that. You get a metre and a half of fabric. So do you get a metre of the pattern, half metre of the, the plane, plus the instructions, 27.99. And then last but not least, you all does also this version, which is the misty blue. Wait, is that William Morris? That's lovely, isn't it? Mineral range. So you get misty blue and you get your William Morris, plus you get your um, instructions. Lovely. Beautiful. Okay, now I've also got the instructions on their own. Limited number of instructions on their own. $9.99, you've got your own fabrics. Gorgeous. Now, I'm going to do the other two cushions while I'm here, so you can start putting them in your basket and, sell it, uh, and selling them. No, you don't sell them. <laughs> I sell them, you buy them. Uh, so th those, those cushions are going to be demoed in a second, but these are your other two that I've got available at Helen Newton's Day. I've got the potting shed here. So the potting shed, what you get there is you get the instructions. You get two fat quarters, a cream and a beige or a biscuit. Then you get half a metre of your chartreuse. <coughs> Excuse me, and then you get your panel with all the fabrics for the little details within the potting shed there. Oh, now this one they have, but the other one we did the other day didn't have what they were for, but these have got wellies, flowers, watering can, bushes, planter. And this is extra. This piece here is extra. You don't even need this. Beautiful. So that's that one, to, and that was to make that one there. That's the potting shed cushion. You can buy the potting shed cushion on its own, the instructions, because inside you've got all the templates that you need, look. Oh, I'm down single figures already on those. I'm on single figures already on those. Pre-order's been very, very busy this morning. And then the other one, which is the sewing room. So the bundle is the sewing room instructions. You get um, half a metre of your, I want to call that rose, but it's not called rose. You get a fat quarter of your cream. And then you also get the panel with all the bits and bobs on. 19.99 for all of that. Nine, there it is, that'll make that one. Now you want the instructions on their own. That's this one, sewing room instructions on their own. Oh, very few of these. Well, you've all been very busy on pre-order this morning. And then the other thing you will need for these, not for the, not, you don't need this for um, the tide cushions, but you, you'll need Bonderweb for your potting shed and for your sewing room. There you go, 2 99 Okay, right, let's get Jules to make some cushions then. So on the pattern, um, normally Helen does the correct size of, you know, your appliques and things like that. Yeah. Just be a, a bit cautious because obviously these aren't the correct size, unless you're doing a doll's house. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but um, there are two sizes that you can make, a 16-inch cushion and an 18-inch cushion. And the um, measurements are actually on the little pieces here. But 
don't mix your measurements. Just mm -hmm. make sure if you're making a 16 inch, it's that one. If you're making an 18 inch, it's that one. So oh, okay. just, just to be aware of it, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, I've made, uh, uh, those ones are 16 inches. Um, I have, on the demo, I've almost completed an 18 inch and I'm demoing the 16 inch from scratch. So you can <laughs> see the sort of sizes. Not trying but, to confuse at all. Like well, that. I thought I might. Yeah. Um, but it's just to show you as well that if you wanted to make um, the larger size, you'll still have enough Fabric. to do it. Yeah, Perfect. yeah. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is cut out all your pieces. As I say, it tells you exactly how many pieces and what they are. Mm -hmm. um, I would, because you on your flap pieces, so at the ends, it's got, instead of having the raw edges, you've got like, they're doing posh houses and stuff. Uh -huh. You've got like a little piece that goes in, so you can't see the cushion oh, okay. inner. Yeah. Um, and so that's what these flaps are. One is slightly wider than the other. They're both the same length, so again, just to be aware of which one is which yeah. uh, when you get to it. Okay. So the first thing that you'll do once you've cut all of your pieces out is um, you're going to make your ties first of all. Mm -hmm. So on the pieces for the ties which are uh, 13 by 4, you'll fold it in half. So uh, this is wrong side, uh, sorry, right sides together. So you're going to sew around the outside and you'll sew down and across, which I've done on that one, but I'm going to do on this okay, one. Perfect. So we've got the two ties. So let's, and quarter of an inch seam we're going to be using. Okay. June says, I love Jewel. She's so calm and makes all her demos look, makes all her demos look doable. Thank you. <laughs> and Chantel says, oops, I thought the farrier for my horses were coming today, but it turns out it's next week. Yeah. I'm, that... Oh, and I'm waiting back in time for watching the bags. Oh, Chantel. You'll love those bags. The, the um, useful, hardware they? is exquisite. Mm -hmm. Just just buy them all. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I know it's not this hour, but yeah, no, it's absolutely <laughs> buy them all. Absolutely fine. <laughs> so just trim off your corners. I've got the smallest pair of scissors ever. Yes. <laughs> just so you can. Uh, and then you can use a turning tool or you can use a whatever it's you like. Is the print turning tool not making stock yet? My favourite thing. I've got a whatever it is. Yeah. I usually use a knitting needle. Yeah. So there's one of those in my thing, so kind of bob it all the way down. And then no, it's not back in stock yet. I mean, they are very useful, especially if you've got um, longer. Oops, Mr. Pitt. Oh, it's all right. Jones. Uh, woo! <laughs> Come through. Especially if you've got longer pieces, um, you know, for bag handles and stuff like that, it, mm -hmm. it's really useful. And then just you want to kind of wriggle and press that, I think. Okay. Just so it's a bit flatter. So if we wriggle the seams, and I think that might have been on. Get warm. It'll, it'll be sufficient, I feel. Are you left-handed? No, but oh. it was on that side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. whatever. <laughs> And then just um, anchor the two loose pieces together. It just helps when you're placing things. So oh, okay. it can be a long stitch, just a basting stitch, as it were. Okay. Righto. So that's the first bit. You've got your two ties ready to go. Right. Then your longest piece. Um, and... This was really useful because you've got quite a wide fabric there because you that's what determines your area on your cushion because obviously you can see that that's cut across the fabric. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only thing you'll have to worry about perhaps is if it's a directional, but then you know you can always turn things around, can't you? So that's not so much of an issue. And then what you want to do is measure where the centre is. Uh huh. So we're going to put midway between them. So 3 to 20, that's 17, which is what it should be. Uh, so what's that? Eight and a half. So if you got to 3 and 8 is 11 and a half, so it's there. Sorry, mutters. So that's exact, exactly halfway then, is it? Yeah. yeah. As exactly as it's going to be mm -hmm. today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> 
and then kind of just follow it along. Yeah. And you'll be tying these. So, uh, yes, it should be halfway and all the rest yeah. of it. But you've got a little bit of forgiveness in yeah. there. So I'm going to actually do it from the back side. Just pin those in place. And also you might just want to put a little pin in the middle so that if you happen to forget in where you're sewing. Oh, yeah. It's just... It's a bit like you do with bag handles. You just get them out of the way. So now we're going to do the face things. And right. I'm going to read this because I've forgotten. Because okay. it was a while ago. <laughs> I've so slept since then. <laughs> I've slept a lot since then. Yeah. Um, so we're going to pop those on there. Um, Helen suggests tacking them onto there. It's, it's entirely up to you. But you can if you want to. Yeah. And then... We are going to um, attach the facing. Now the facing is, I've got to fold one of them in half. So there's the bigger one that I fold in half. So that's why it's important you know which is which. Yeah. So the big one you fold in half to give it a good finish on the edge. Uh -huh. So fold it and press it. And then the other one you're going to use just as it, as it comes. So we'll attach this one first. So we pop that across the end. I'll just attach that. Oops. And what's the so seam allowance here? Quarter of an inch? Yeah. <coughs> Oops. So. I'm going to attach that one first. It's fine. So we'll whiz that. So straight seam. Yeah. And I've put the pin the opposite way from the back, um, holding my tie in place. Uh -huh. Sounds like I'm at the fair. Oh, it well. didn't ping. Oh, it pinged. <laughs> it sounds like I'm at the fair <laughs> on the shooting range. <laughs> I don't know what the prize will be. <laughs> it's usually a country so, toy, isn't it? Or a goldfish in a bag. Yeah. Which I um, I don't do very well with goldfish in bags. No, I don't, I don't know if they do that. I don't think the goldfish in bags do very well. No. Do they still do that. I don't think they must be allowed to do that. I don't think they're allowed, anymore. no. <laughs> right, OK, so that's that one. We'll go flat again. And then this time, you've got this side, which is um, double. So you put your raw edges all together. Yeah. And the re reason I'm pinning is because I just want those edges to match now. Make sure I'm not going in advance of myself, because you know that's what happens, don't you? What are you muttering about? I'm making sure that I'm not going in advance of myself, because <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> I go, right, go back again. Yeah, yeah, unpick <laughs> all of that, start again. It's when you've done them quite, you know, you've done quite a few. Yeah. And then you just think, oh, you get blows, eh? You just go, yeah, that's what it is. And you forget to read it, and then you think, oh. Yeah. Instructions about to sell out. Instructions on their own are about to sell out, just so you know. They're really nice cushions and they don't take terribly no. long to make. And they look really classy, you know, especially with that contrast plane in there. Yeah. The instructions are obviously in all the bundles. It's just the ones on their own that I've just about to sell out. OK. Elaine's got a question on my bottom. John, can you tell me what Jules Fallon book you had earlier, please? Oh, it's not for sale. It's not for sale, Elaine. It's the prize from today's thing. It's called Jules Fallon Sewing for the Soul. Simple sewing patterns and recipes to lift the spirit. That must be the done thing at the moment, to put recipes in your, in your sewing books. Yeah. So, wonder what, she, if you go to Jules's workshop, she has always has loads of cake. <laughs> All you have to do is buy something today to be in with a chance of uh, winning this. 
I don't, I've never even seen it before. Blimey, that's a good prize. If you think that book's worth £20, two, fat, two uh, K um, charm packs and a panel. I don't have to pay for anything, just to buy something today. Right, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Right, sorry, Jules. All right, that's okay. So, um, <coughs> basically, that's the end bits done. So right. now you'll fold it on itself, match the raw edges, and sew down each seam. Job right. done. That, that's, that's basically it. Oh, so what's this one here, then? You've got pinned here. Well, it's just in case I... Made a mistake on that one. <laughs> And also, like, it, it took me longer than I expected. <laughs> 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 well, you know, sometimes we get chatting and, you know. Yeah. Or, uh, as you say, I go completely. And yeah. I, I could, can't even remember how far I got with that one. Oh, you know, look, you see. You've done it done wrong. Done? What have I done? Ah, right, so. Go backwards. <laughs> go backwards. <laughs> so, look, you see. Yeah. It's because I got that um, that over the top of each other. So Are you, you meant to have? Yeah, because as you fold it through, so if I go to that one. Yeah. So as you fold it through, so instead of just putting them straight together, you've got your um, piece that you've got underneath. So reverse. Okay, so ignore what we just did. I told <coughs> you. I did tell you yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Right, okay. So what you'll do is you'll fold this one in on itself right before oh so you still you still sew, sew, sew one to each yeah. end yeah you just have to fold this in yeah. in on itself before it. you do it and then that means that when you kind of um fold them over it works better so that will go up to there right so basically you've got this going on so you've got that piece folded back on itself you've then got so you've got your two ties there you've then got that which is the double edged piece yeah. folded across on itself and then you sew down it. Right. <laughs> Which I shall now do. Uh -huh. <laughs> you knew, you knew. I'm not as professional as Becky, you see. What? I'm not as professional as Becky. Oh. <laughs> right, okay, so let's do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who was it from, though? Kay and Deirdre, thank you for your message. <laughs> I shall find out for you in the break. Oh, and yes, his winner's name has come through. We'll do it at the end of this hour. Now I will. Right, okay, nearly there. What, what? Nearly there. Nearly Christmas, isn't it? Really? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking no, no, so long, really it's nearly Christmas. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just sitting here thinking, uh, why hasn't Jules got a fancy dress costume on today? Oh, well. <laughs> on Christmas Day. Jules is here with her fancy dress costumes on. Right, so we're going, just going to turn the whole thing through. Right. And you do you. If you wanted to, um, you can overcast those seams. Right. Just because they're going to get a bit of wash and yeah. wear and stuff. But it's entirely up to you. So that goes like that. And then that goes like that. So trim and do that one. So that is a like a that. And then this is the bigger one. Yeah. Um, and then you've got your... So it's like when you do your pillowcases on your bed, one of them has a, a flap that goes over. So you don't, yeah. you're don't. you never going to see the actual yeah, cushion case exactly. or the cushion pad, are you? That's what it is. And once you've um, uh, ironed it and all that kind of stuff, pressed it nicely. There you go. Perfect. Lovely. 
<laughs> right, let me go through those bundles uh, because we're going to talk about the um, other two in a minute. So let me go through the bundles of the Tide cushion cover uh, that are available for you at the moment. So the one that Jules was just making then is this one here. Anne of Green Gables, Riley Blake, get a metre of that, half a metre of your magenta, plus your instructions, £27.99. And there's enough in there to make two cushions, is there? Yeah. Yeah, enough there to make two cushions. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So that's that one. The one that the sample's made out of, which is the most popular... Okay, so Hannah's going to put them in our garden. So when I go around for breakfast in the morning, they're on the chairs from a fried egg that was in the book earlier. Mm. Oh, it's that Sunday morning, is it? Oh, it's Sunday morning breakfast. 27 99 you get a metre of the flower. You get a half a metre of the red, plus you get the instructions. Most popular of the four bundles. What are you sewing now, then? So I'm just finishing that one off. Oh, okay. so that oh she's doing it so she's got a set when she goes home later on. That's what she's... <laughs> Okay, that's that one. And then I've got this lovely Michael Miller fabric here. Look, I'll just show you this. That's cute, isn't it? So you get a metre of your Michael Miller, half a metre of your blue, plus your instructions. £27.99. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the photos, you'll only see a little square of that. You don't get to see this colour in the photos on the website. I think that's lovely, that Michael Miller fabric. And then last but not least, got William Morris with your misty blue. Right, this is called misty blue, but it's actually green. That's your William Morris minerals, and then that's your pattern there. £27.99. Pence. It almost looks like there's a sheen on that, doesn't it? On what? On the... Um William Morris one. Michael Sheen. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful fabric. That's more subtle, isn't it? That's the more subtle of the three, the four choices. It's what, Hannah, say? Oh, fewer than 20 of those. Right. Okay. Pattern on its own, I think, is gone, isn't it? Pattern on its own, gone. Right. Now, the two projects we're now going to look at, the pattern for both of these have sold out. The but the bundles have got the pattern in. So the potting shed one first. So this is your pattern. This is your half a metre of chartreuse. I'm not quite sure what this, this is for. Can you uh, just yes. check? Um, so, oh, the table. Is it, that the table? No. No, no, no well, it's not the well, table. It's, it's, yeah, it's the floor. Yeah, the floor. The floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's potting shed. I thought that was a table. <laughs> no, it's the floor. Anyway, so the, that's for your floor. The beige is for your floor. The cream is for your background. Your chartreuse is for your back and your border. And then your wellies and your watering can and everything like that are all made out of these. That's the finished thing there. There's more than enough. Um, the only thing I would say, the wellies are quite uh, are the biggest. Yes. So don't. Like you can mix and match things, but don't mix and match your wellies. Oh yeah, it's too big. You wouldn't get the wellies out of any other. Fa oh, mm, no, you no. wouldn't get them out of any other fabric, would no. you? <laughs> okay, so that's that one. The potting shed. It's pretty, isn't it? That one. Uh, the instructions on their own have sold out. But you can obviously still get them in the bundle. Sewing room. So in this one, you get your um, fat quarter for your background. You get, I want to call this, oh, you all right? Sorry, <laughs> breaking the Is shot. Is that called Rose, that one? No, don't mind. I've got, I've got the number on it, ADLJ80. Oh, it is Rose, it is Rose. And then you get your panel with all of your bits and bobs on here. Now, is there something on there that's too big for anything else? No, I wouldn't say so. I guess the finished one. Oh, I suppose the um, where's the where's the mannequin fabric? Well, they've called it a maquette. What's a maquette? Isn't it a parrot? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so the, that's a sewing machine, but they've called that a maquette. Look, I've never heard of a maquette before. 
Also, please don't think your glasses are playing up because the writing may be a little bit blurred. I was looking thinking, oh, I've paid a fortune for these glasses. I can't even read that. <laughs> but actually, it's on the, it's on the fabric. Right, and plus the instructions. At uh, 19.99. You see, I was about to say 27.99, then 19.99. Now, you will need some Bondaweb. Bondaweb. Here we go. Now, I think the five meter roll is sold out, the one on the website. So, this is what we've got here. This is 120 centimeters by 17 and a half centimeters. Hmm? No, no, it's no, the, only, the, the biggest things are your shelves, I think, aren't they? Mm, they're the longest. They're the longest, yeah. They're the longest. <laughs> Cliff Richard sang that, didn't he? Oh, they've both got shelves on, actually. No, no, no. Look, there's, there's a shelf there. You could always make it out of your chartreuse if you wanted to. If Those you wanted again? to do two, you could always get the chartreuse going on. What, with another to shelf? shelf yeah. I don't know what she's talking about either. There you go. <laughs> How rude! <laughs> <laughs> How very rude. Two ninety nine for your bond web there. Right. Okay. So, oh, what day of the week is it? Isn't Alice and Marion having her thing done today? Wednesday. Aren't you having your thing done today, Alice and Marion? Well, no. She's just said she's watching. You see, she might have had it already. Yeah. She put it on Facebook. That it was. It was supposed to be last Wednesday, wasn't it? But the um. Surgeon couldn't come in, had to isolate. I thought it was this Wednesday. Anyway, if it is, Alice Marion, send you lots of love. Right, so what are you going to show me now on this one? So then? I'll just talk you through stuff and I'll show you a few bits. But actually, those wellies are quite... Big. Yeah, no, no, no. When I looked at them, I thinking, what she talking about? You could get those at that. But actually, they're quite yeah. sig sig significant. Significant. Yeah. So with Helen's um, normal applique, uh, pattern pieces mm -hmm. they're all exactly the right size right and the other thing that's really good is they're all a really bold print so if you're using bond web you'll see through this yeah that is very straightforward to to trace off um so i started merrily tracing everything off right and then i thought why am i tracing the detail because the detail is what you put on afterwards. afterwards. So just a quick tip, if, if you don't want to trace all the details, do it if you want, I did it, but yeah. do it if you want. So that's one with detail, but equally, uh, that is usable. Yeah, that's only shape <laughs> you know Because I, mean? so, I was merrily doing it and thinking, well, oh, I'm doing these little bits. Yeah. Um, so these are both on Bondaweb, and the trick with Bondaweb is to find the rough side. Yeah. That's the side that you put down onto whatever you're tracing. You trace around it, generally cut around the bond web, but don't be too accurate about mm -hmm. how you cut um, because you want a little bit of extra bond web onto your fabric so it's sealing your edges. Perfect. So, uh, Alison Marion, Ma I'll start that again. Right? Put my teeth in. <laughs> Alison Marion, Marion Alison, Mama Bebe. She said, Yes, I'm watching you whilst I wait for Mike to pick me up. So she must have had it done. She must have had it done then. Hmm? Sending you love, Alison Marion, Marion Alison. Right, sorry. Okay. So we're bonding the web. <laughs> bonding the web. <laughs> bonding the web. So you're on the wrong side of the fabric. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to cut it out close and then we'll flip it over okay. to stitch it on. So you just literally do the do. Mm -hmm. And then you want to cut it around reasonably accurately. Okay, with the smallest scissors in the world. I oh, know whether I should be what? using these. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some, uh, oh, got these are left-handed, but I'll, I'll No, no, some, there should be scissors in the drawer. I'll go with no, you're right, you're sure? I'll go with it. Oh, somebody noisy has just arrived. So when you're cutting, it's a bit like when you're doing paper cutting. Uh, don't use your best scissors. Yeah. Apologies if these are best scissors. And move your fabric as opposed to your scissors. So let the scissors close, but move the fabric around it. Oh, it's not okay. so bad on these bigger pieces, but when you get to the finer pieces, it just stops you having to keep fiddling around. So if you drive your fabric, yeah. as opposed to driving your scissors, as it were. And then... And to be honest, the beauty of these sort of kind of free motion things that you do, um, is that uh, you're going to sew over the top and you can be as scrappy sewing as you like mm -hmm. or as accurate as you like. You can do um, 
a satin stitch over it or you can just do a scribble stitch over it. You can, you can decide how yeah. you want it to be. So the next thing that you'll do, is I've got the iron on so that's why I'm still leaving it there. So this is how you'll construct your panel to, um, to use. And obviously with Helen's, she does quite often do a border piece so that you can flow over onto the Yeah, which piece. I like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, so here we've got the floor. The floor, <laughs> not the table, or the shelf. Or the sh and then the top. Um, and it just uh, trace out all of your pieces and then have a look at the layout that you've got on your pattern which is it's a nice clear um, photograph on there and I would Can you put, just push everything to the right for sorry me? okay perfect I would put uh, so to me on here my main reference line is this shelf right so that's the thing that I would be putting in first so right. I'll just show you on here um, oh, I've got one here I already did earlier. I already did because I wanted to see it would work. And the way that I would know it, whether it would work is all of the little plant pots that are on the top here. Yeah. I just kind of gauged where the plant pot would sit. You've cut that. Top. Have you not cut the plant pot out of the um, Wellington boot fabric? No, the Wellington boot is the, oh, it's is the yellow. It's very yeah. similar. Yeah. Um, I think I went a bit, well... I oh, no, there you go. You can see it now. I did the things and then I, I went a bit rogue on a couple of things. Well, I think Helen that. doesn't mind if you go rogue. No. She's quite happy for you to do whatever you want with all the different shapes and things. So, for example, the birdhouse. Oh. Uh, I did it in that. I like that one. So okay. I did it in that one rather than... And I used the other one for the topiary. Okay, which was supposed to be bits and bobs. She's taken that one from the bits and bobs section. So, yeah, I, I thought, you know, I will... So um, initially, before I uh, ironed this down, I just did a bit, a quick count, whether that would work. And then my next biggest thing was the, uh, were the Wellington boots, but obviously I hadn't done those yet, so I, I couldn't do that. But yeah. I put this on the edge and that. So just to get a little bit of idea. What's that thing at the end then? Is that so this is the box with the topiary. Oh, I thought it was a spade. <laughs> Because it's not got any of the um, no, free motion course, on no, it. No, of course, because it's just the basic shape, isn't it? just looks shape, isn't basically it? Yeah, what it is. And so when you, you're happy with where it is, yeah. as I say, I've laid that down. The other thing that I checked was I've got some flowers that go in that pot. So I just yeah. wanted to make sure that they kind of sit in the pot vaguely up. You know what? If you go over onto there, it doesn't really matter, but you just kind of vaguely. Yeah. Because obviously she's thought about this. She's thought about the proportions. So it's quite useful to keep the similar proportions mm. to what mm -hmm. you've got there. And then what you would do is when you're happy with, as I say, the main reference points, you just merrily go along and, and fill things in. So when you've got your bondo web on the back, sometimes it comes off itself, like this is coming off itself. If it doesn't, don't force it you need to just strike it with a pin yeah. because if you don't do that and you peel it off from the edges when it's not coming off itself, you can fray the edges. And that's the whole point is having Bondo Web on there to stick it and to make sure it doesn't fray too much. Yeah. So then you put your piece on there and you um, build up your picture really, however you want. If you've got pieces on top of pieces. So this one, I've got one that's gone down there and I'm going to put this one on top. I'm happy with this where it is. So I'm actually just going to ease that down first of all. Mm -hmm. You can use a pressing cloth. You can use um, an applique cloth if you want to. Yeah, available it's on the website. Entirely up to you. Me, you know, I'm lazy. If I've got it to hand, it's not going on. And then that's the topper. And because I've got various layers going on top of each other. I just like to put them down on each one. You can uh, do the whole lot if you want to. Mm -hmm. If you are, you must, well, you have, it must about a bit advisable to do it on top of your pressing mat because you don't want to be... Or your ironing board for at home. Or your ironing board, board yeah. yeah whichever, whichever is the easiest um, mm. thing for you. So you see, I've merrily gone away, <laughs> done all of that, and of course I haven't got anything on there. No, of course. <laughs> So what you then do, um, keep that as a reference, and you, you can do that in a little while yeah. when you're doing your free motion on top. So just on there, I'm going to have three on top. And then that's because I did these a few days ago, they, um, they're coming up quite readily. Yeah. And then a little one on top. 
And if you wanted to, um, so say for example you're um, not too confident about um, where things might be and, and you would like a guideline, what you can do now is once that's cooled off, so that one hasn't cooled off yet, yeah. but my um, watering can has. So what you can do here is just draw a few lines on here. Now this has got, you know, your watering can sprouts. You, You've got little dots. They're quite difficult to do free motion wise. So you could get a bit of hand embroidery going yeah, on there. Oh yeah, yeah. That'd be quite nice. And then um, obviously you'll come down here and then you've got your little, if you kind of curve it across. But if you it. like hand sewing, you could do all of this by hand, you could. couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. And you could even, rather than free motion, you could do like little blanket stitch around all yeah, of them things. Or, or satin stitch uh -huh. or, yeah, any of those kind of things can go on. And if you want to mark your reference point where your bird feet are going to be. So it's, it's a nice little project to get you used to doing all these sort of different transferable skills. Uh -huh. We say that all the time, but it is really useful. And it gives you a bit of, um, so this is guiding you, but you've got a bit of poetic license, really. You, if you didn't want the wellies to be that side, you could put them the other side. Yeah, 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 of course. You know, you wouldn't, it's not too much of a big deal to this one. Now this one's stuck because I've only just done it. Uh -huh. So I do definitely need to remove. And then my wellies will go. Roughly round about there, mm -hmm. I reckon. So yeah, you can have a good old play. And some of the um, items will be outside of the panel. Uh -huh. So like, for example, these sorts of um, flowers. So you can have a play where you're going to place these, so you might you might want to do exactly what she's done, or you might want to play around with it a little yeah. bit and do them in different places. Yeah, because when you come to the bush on the right-hand side, that one seems to yeah. go over as well. So right? that one, that's the biggest bit on there, yeah. and then you kind of go up, it's got a three. So don't worry that that piece isn't too long because the top bit is what, what kind of makes it up there. And then you'll have your bird on the top. He's not got any legs at the minute because you, you can again sew those legs in. Yeah. And oh, got two birds facing the same way. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll have him that way. Uh, and my doodah. Bird box. That and that. So you and the bird box. Um, again, a little bit of hand stitching to go on there, but this just gives you bit of an idea I'm not going to uh, seal them all down yeah, yeah, but you, yeah, get, yeah. you get a general flow for it but you just build it how you yeah. want it don't you really yeah so Got yeah message from Anne on our bottom Jules could you make them into wall hangings rather than a cushion from Anne in Cheshire yeah you could what I would do if I was going to do that is I would increase the size of this border right so at the minute I think it's I don't know if it's a two inch oh, let's have a look um, mm, 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 two inch. Okay. So what I would do is probably do a four inch, and you have got enough uh, fabric. Well, yeah, because there's enough fabric to make a back of a cushion. Isn't yeah. There? So you so, could, so you could do like a double border if you wanted. You yeah. could do the green, and then you could do the cream, and you you could build it up. Yeah. Um, you've also got additional uh pieces so that's the piece that has not got any name yeah uh, so you could use this if you're going to say for example you're going to do the chartreuse in a four inch and then you might do a two inch um cream you could cut out some more of the flowers and put those on the border yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. on the wall hanging mm -hmm. top and bottom so yeah now you if can it was a wall hanging, it. would you put calico on the back or would you put it in a frame i would no if it's a wall hanging i would get some maybe something H640 or your Polly Wally doodah wadding and right. you could put a backing on it, a calico backing on it mm -hmm. and then I would quilt it through right. because on a wall hanging if you don't and you put wadding in it it just kind of seeps Sags. down, yeah. <laughs> goes south. Yeah. So you, you just want to do and obviously you're going to do your free motion on there so equally even if you were going to do a cushion you could get your H640 on the back 
fuse it to the back and then make these like pop mm. out a little bit. So, but if I don't want to do free motion, yep. can I do normal zigzag or something yeah. like that around the edge? Yeah, so if we say, for example, we've got, let's do a bit. Okay, get rid of all those things. <laughs> that were not stuck. Let me just switch that one off. So say, for example, um, I was going to do around the, what do you call it, the watering can. So you can just get, oh, I've got the wrong colour thread in there, oh, but yeah. it doesn't matter. You, you'll get the idea, I think. Um, just uh, do a kind of slow stitch to get uh -huh. you where it is. That's a normal foot, normal stitch. Yeah. Not doing anything else crazy on it. And then when I get to the edge, so it's just... Let's pivot. Um, or, uh, let me do that. Where's me ziggy zaggy? I think it's zero 06, isn't it? On there? What are you looking for? Zigzag. Zero 06, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So let's give that a go. There we are. So now I'm going zigzag uh -huh. down the um, outside to attach that. So if I, not sure if you'll see it, but we've got supers on the cameras, but if you can get to that. So that's just normal stitching across there and then zigzagging down there. So you oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it, I don't know if you can see it very well, because it's light. Yeah, so no, but you do it in a dark colour or something to create the lines, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you don't actually have to um, do free motion. If you're a bit concerned about, uh, on one of my machines, if I drop the feed dogs and then put the feed dogs back up again, it hates it. Oh. It, it, yeah, it throws a wobbler. So you might not want to do that to your machine if yeah. you've only got one machine, which of most course. people have. And also some people don't like doing free motion no, either. No, no, and just get a little bit worried about it. Well, mm -hmm. don't be worried. Do you, you've got lines you can follow. Just friction pen them on, because as soon as you've done that, and there you go. I never have any trouble with friction pen. I yeah. know some people do, but I never have any trouble. I think I've tried it on all sorts of fabric, yeah. and it's thankfully. Just, we just say test it on your fabric beforehand, if you don't, especially if it's a quilt or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, um, and that's pretty much it. And then if you were making a cushion, you can either do a folded back. Yeah. Or you could put a zip in. You remember when we were doing um, uh, some of the uh, cushions that we had before? We had the cushion backs with the zips in them, oh, yeah, pre-made, yeah, 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 yeah. so you could use that and then yeah. save your material, your fabric for the mm -hmm. top and do a couple of them. So yeah, you can do all sorts of variations, but the beauty is that you've got this, I mean, you could equally make that into a tote bag or oh, yeah. an apron front yeah. if you're, if you're um, a gardener, gardener's mm -hmm. apron. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, oh, and take elements out of it. So if you want the little birds or the little heart, yeah. You've got that in the pattern. But also, you've got you've got the template then forever. You could then, yeah. if you want, if you had a denim jacket that you wanted to kind yeah. of um, embellish a little bit, you could do it with that. And especially on the sewing room one, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all definitely. sorts. Definitely, definitely. When are you back in next then? Uh, the twenty third of August, oh, I think okay. it is. Yeah, 20, we've got we've holidays. Got... Oh. <laughs> holidays. Oh, are you on holiday? <laughs> yeah, only in this country, which is good actually. Yeah. Going to Yorkshire. Oh, lovely. Yeah, going to do some walking. Ooh, very nice. My sister's a really good walker, so we're going with my sister and, so and my gonna girls. So she's going to walk, and you're she's going to walk, and, and I'll run. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Ramsden. Oh, Harry Ramsden. Oh, we'll have a lovely time, Thank and you we'll very see much. you then. We'll Thank you. Then. Thank right. You okay. So, where do you want me to go now? Potting shed. Fewer than twenty. This bundle left. So what you get in this, you get the instructions. You get your half a meter of chartreuse. You get your fat quarter of cream. You get your fat quarter of beige. That's your floor. That's your background. That's your frame. And then this here is all of your uh, little bits of fabric you'll need to do the uh, applique with. This is, this bit here is spare. You put that in your stash. Now, Susie Duncan, what color what color box would she put that one in then? And you say, that was going to throw her, isn't it? Anyway, that's everything there that you need. £19.99. pence. That's for your potting shed. The, the pattern on its own is sold out. But the pattern does have, so you can use it over and over again, because the pattern's got all of the uh, components that you might need. You've got your wellies, your birds, your thingy, that the bird's house. No, my birdhouse is completely empty. They chose to... 
They chose to live in the guttering rather than the very expensive box I bought. And I still have no hedgehogs in my hedgehog hotel. And the cat's, oh yeah, the cat's trying to run away. Right, okay, so then, uh, the sewing room, you get the instructions, you get your rows, half a metre, you get your fat quarter of cream, and then you get your panel for all of your bits and bobs, for your sewing machine, for your maquette and your maquette stand. That must be a, I don't know why they called it a maquette. Maybe that's another word for it. Maquette's a puppet, marionette's a puppet. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. We'll find out. We'll look it up. We'll ask the... Oh, actually, the graphic designer's in today. I'll ask her. Right, so that's all of that bundle for your 19 Your bond web is here. Oh, I've got to announce the winner as well, haven't I, before I go, yeah? Two ninety nine. I'm not going anywhere, don't worry, I mean, before I finish this hour, not before I go home. Lovely. Right, shall I announce yesterday's winner? So, just so you know, if you buy anything today, you go into a competition, and tomorrow I'll announce who's won it. So now Vic's had the same competition yesterday, and what did they win from yesterday? Uh, anyway, uh, we've got a winner. Stephen Hassel. Stephen Hassel, you are the winner of... Tu uh, excuse me, have they got a native lighting lamp? And the Queen Victoria stamp... Uh, uh, oh, the Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth stamp. I'm still shocked by that there's a lamp there. That's brilliant, isn't it? Anyway, Stephen... That's on its way to you. They're good prizes, aren't they? Because we've got Jules's book, which is now yet, and it's worth 20-odd pounds. And, and fat quarters, uh, not fat quarters, and uh, five-inch charm packs from Cave and a panel. Anyway, all you have to do is shop today. On Sewing Street, you have to buy, buy on Sewing Street today. Now, uh, Becky Alexander Frost coming up after the break. She's got two bags. She's going to concentrate on this one. Pre-order's going crazy for that one. Absolutely crazy, that lovely backpack, which will hold a 15-inch thingy, she said. Laptop, laptop, I couldn't think of the name of it. I haven't got one, you see. Oh, and we're going to be talking about this one, which is called Walk a Mile in My Shoes or something like that, isn't it? Oh, Walk With Me, it's called Walk With Me. And did you have to take a picture of the other side as well? What was wrong with you this morning? She's taken no pictures this morning. Anyway, uh, thank you, Jules. We will see you in about four minutes from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Sewing has been part of the Great British Heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. 
Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hannah's just said she thinks I'm hungover. I haven't had a drink for two and a half years. Anyway, anyway, look, 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 look. So let's have a look at the big, this bag first. No, she wasn't listening. There you go, that one there. That's the Walk With Me bag by Becky Alexander Frost. Uh, it's lovely, isn't it? So now I have got this. I've got the pattern, just so you know, before we put in the graphics, I've got the pattern on its own. I've got the pattern with uh, all the hardware and I've got bundles of fabric separately. So if you want to make it with all the hardware you can do, if you just want to make it with your own hardware you can do, we've given you every option going. So I'm going to show you with the pattern with the hardware, first of all. Uh, now, remember, Becky Alexander Frost said all this made especially for this bag. So it has it all brought in. There's, I will take it out for you in a second. I'll show you everything that's in there. $39.99. Brilliant, isn't it? So what you get, well, I'll show you. I'll show you what you get. That's obviously the base of the bag. Could help if I could open the bag even. There you go. So in here, you do get, most importantly, the instructions. You get a lovely satin bias binding in the grey. You get a lilac uh, zip. Oh, now you get the same zip that we had. Is that right? The same zip? Yeah, the same zip that we had in the last one. I will explain that in a second. You get your plastic canvas for the base. And then in here, look, you get your slider. You get your lobster claws. Are they magnetic fasteners there? What, what's the round ones in there? Magnetic fasteners, and then what's that funny looking thing there? The little thing. A little thing. That's the. Can I take this off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Um, 
fish. In your own time. Sorry. <laughs> Zip hand. Oh, wow. You see, it's things like that that make it so... I'm going to wait for Emma to come. There you go. There you go. You see, it's thing, it's little touches like that which make all the difference, isn't it? So in that bundle for uh, 39.99, you get the zip, the bias binding, the plastic canvas, the instructions, the zip, and there's this zip, and all of this. Now remember, in the last hour, the pattern with the hardware sold out the quickest, right? So please, if you want that, please, please, please be careful if you've got it in your basket. Right, I'll pop all those in there. So what you'll also need for this is some, some uh, oh no, let me do the pattern on its own next. I'll do the pattern on its own next, sorry. Pattern on its own is there. Loads of pattern on its own have already gone. There you go. So ignore that, ignore that, there you go. The walk with me bag, just the pattern on its own, £13.50. Again, I'll go through it later, but it's got every single thing you need there. Photographs, writing, it's got um, everything, uh, templates, everything in there. So £13.50, £13.50, pence, right? So that either comes on its own or in the bundle with the um, hardware. Now I've got, uh, you need some iron-on interfacing. Okay, uh, that, uh, Lynn says, you're hungover with life because you've been to your favourite place. Lynn, that's very deep. <laughs> anyway, there's your on interfacing. Then you also need some of this. H640. A metre, £9.99. Now, you might have your own fabrics, but I've got two bundles of fabric here that you might love, well, you will love. Right, so this is what the uh, sample is made out of. Oh, I love this. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, you get two and a half metres. You get half a metre of your Tula. You get a metre of your lilac cotton canvas and a metre of... oh. That is canvas, isn't it? It is yeah. canvas, yeah. And then this one here is your cotton. That feels lovely. It is nice and soft. I thought that. Beautiful. So, oh, sorry, my head was in shot there. Sorry. <laughs> so this is cotton canvas, this is cotton, and that's your Tula. Two and a half metres. Oh, yeah, and your cotton canvas is wide as well, look. Yep. You do have a bit left over. A bit? Yeah, quite look. a lot. You can actually make two bags out of that. Take two bags out of that bit? Yep. Right, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Right, that's gorgeous. That's just stunning, that bundle. I've also got this uh, bundle, which is a little bit different, a little bit, um, well, I don't, uh, what's the word I'd use? I don't want to say goth, because it's not goth, but it's kind of all... Dark. They've called it wine. <laughs> well, you can't fit a bottle. Oh, I suppose you could fit a little bottle of wine in there. Anyway, so you get your, your uh, metre of your cotton canvas in the grey, this is lovely. This is like that. Um, it isn't, but it's like that motor um, um, white white. grunge, isn't it? That's what it looks like. Isn't that grunge? This one is yeah, printed in Japan. Stuff fabric. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? That'll be wide as well. Oh, no, no, actually, no, it's 44. Right, okay, it says that. And then you get this one here. Now, this. Yeah, that's a melange, that one. This this is a batik. It's lovely, isn't it? It's very moody. That's the word I'm looking for, moody. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that bundle. How much is that? $24.99. Now, I'm going to quickly introduce you to the other bag. We're going to, do, we're going to talk about both these bags in this hour. So let me introduce you to this bag now. Emma, there you go. There you go. So, the instructions with all, now, with all the haberdashery in this one, hardware, 29 99 so you get the instructions, you get one of those zips, they're very popular, those zips, aren't they? There? I'll, I'll get it out, hang on. Full pattern and templates, beige zip, webbing, big zip, and then two of these parachute clasps. <laughs> Quick release. Quick <laughs> release. 
<laughs> and yeah, handmade handmade label as well. Did you get a handmade label in that one? You get oh yes, you do. Yeah, yeah, in all of them. Them. yeah. You need to do that handmade label with your logo on it. Oh, I've got that personally from my own bags. Oh, I've, sorry, I've, darling. I've oh, already, sorry. sorry. I've already yeah. mentioned something about Sewing Street ones. Oh, you want to or you will be later? No, I want to, and Ian's thinking about it. Fabulous. We could call some of them John Scott design. Nothing to do with me, but, you know. <laughs> I don't mind taking credit for these. Right, and you, oh, I've ripped that bag. Have you got, did you bring any of those bags with you? Oh, no. And then the instructions for the commuter backpack. Now, it's big enough to fit a 15 and a half inch laptop. laptop. <laughs> you don't have to. It could be Hannah's lunch. My lunch will fit in that. Okay, now these, are, oh, now why is this one only 11.50 on its own? Right, because it was one of the very earlier patterns that I released from. Oh, some, okay. You see, you could have put it up and nobody would have noticed. No, it's got less pages. Oh, okay. See, she's fair as well as clever. I go by the amount of pages and amount of... Oh, pages. okay then. So there's your instructions. All your instructions there. Right, now... Oh, dear. Uh, I've got bundles. So what's that one made out of? That's made out of this one. Oh, these are nice fabrics, aren't they? So, this one is the Tula Pink Fabric Bundle. Three metres of fabric you get. Right. Yeah, I think it's metre, metre, half metre, half metre. I think that's what they are. Hang on, we're just finding out exactly what you're getting. Obviously, you get that beautiful... Uh, now, this is quilted. Now, is this PU? Yeah, it is, yeah. But you still do need to interface that because it has got a stretch yeah. to it. It's very, very soft and beautiful. Champagne. <laughs> ha oh, ha I was wrong. Half a metre. Half a metre of your Alice in Wonderland. Half a metre of your Roses. And then a metre and a half of your cream. That's your bundle there. Beautiful. And that will make you this one. There you go. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so that's that bundle. Now, uh, I've also got this bundle here, which is slightly patriotic. Oh, I love this Notting Hill fabric. So you've got your Notting Hill fabric in pink, half a metre. You've got your flags, half a metre. You've got your PU half a metre and a metre and a half of your lovely... These are beautiful. I, are these new colours? We're seeing some beautiful colours, aren't we, this morning? That blush. Well, OK. So you get, that's your fabric bundle for this, 29 99 This is Riley Blake. There's, if you look closely on one, look there, on that one there, Mary Poppins. Yeah. Look. Oh. <laughs> You can hear them. <laughs> yeah, you can hear them. I don't know why I bother with this EP because everyone at home can hear them as well. <laughs> right, OK. And then the other one is your monochrome sort of grey version. So you've got your grey PU. Modar. Uh, now, I don't, uh, what, I, what make, what um, design, what collection's this? Looks so lovely, aren't they? So you've got your, this isn't Moda, this is our R Rose and Hubble. That's your PU. And then these are apparently our Moda. Both from Sunday Stroll. I've never seen those before. Sunday Stroll. Okay, everything we have of this in stock is in this bundle now. Anyway, so that's your grey bundle there. You will also, again, need your uh, iron-on interfacing. And um, do you need the H640 for this one? Well? Yeah, so uh, yeah. uh, iron-on interfacing and H640 for those as well. Right, so we're now we're going to go back to the Walk With Me bag. <laughs> what are you waving for? Oh, uh, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's the queen. <laughs> right, OK, I'm not going to talk as much this time because we've got lots of sewing to do, haven't we? Yeah, can I just um, talk about the pattern pieces? Do what you like, it's your show. Right, OK. Um, so the Walk With Me bag, you've got your templates and you've got A, B and C. Right. Right, so your A template doubles up as two templates. So when I say A1, you're cutting it with the right and facing up. And then when I say A2 in the pattern, you need to cut it with the um, right and facing down. Okay. I do explain this on the actual templates yep. and it's the same with B and C. Right. Okay. Right, so I'm going to make the front of the back. Okay. 
So we've got nothing um, apart from interfacing attached. You don't fuse the, interface, um, the fusible fleece until you've actually made both front and back and the base. Okay, so we're going to start off with the tulip pink first, mm -hmm. the pocket. So we've got interfacing on both of those. Right. Pop those right sides together and we're going to sew um, three eighths of an inch on this edge. Right, yeah. Turn on my machine. Might help. Yep. There's a great big blue bottle in here. You there is, yeah. yeah. Massive blue bottle in here. Emma will get rid of it after the show. Right, so this time you're sewing a quarter of an inch. Say it again. A quarter of an inch away from the edge. Seam allowance. I thought, did you say three eighths? Yeah, I did. It's a quarter of an inch. Oh, it's quarter. So. Quarter, yeah. quarter, quarter. <laughs> Oh, no. What's the matter? It's gone wrong. It's gone wrong. It's gone wrong, she says. Right, so you can sew it together, right sides together. Or? Or you need to put the binding on. Oh, okay. So you're going to sew two raw edges together. There you go. You're going to pop those. So you're going to put the wrong sides together? Yeah, I do apologise, guys. No, that's all right. No, gosh, no, don't worry. There is a two and a half hour video on how to make this anyway, so... That's a what? Two and a half hour video. Oh, my, on, uh, on your YouTube channel? Yeah. The um, walking foot's come out. Oh. Blame Jules, she's gone now. <laughs> no. Oh, no, something not right there, is there? No. Let me get that sorted. Here we go, master at work now. <laughs> you know you break it, you buy it, don't you? Break it, you pay for it. I can replace it with a broken one. <laughs> <laughs> Becky's got one of these, but she had an there was an accident in the home. Everyone's all right, but the machine yeah. got fell off a table, basically. It's getting fixed. It's getting fixed now. There you go. Right. Yay. So we're sewing wrong sides, sides together. together um, a quarter of an inch yeah. away. And we're doing the top of the pocket. Right. And there's a reason for that, because we're going to put the bias binding on. Right. So you bias binding. Which is top quality. It's really lovely stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it is really nice. It's um, really thick as well. Yeah. So you're going to just basically, you've got enough bias binding for both pockets on both back and front. Right. Um, but now I'm going to tell you on the pattern front yeah. cover, that's actually only got one slip pocket. Oh, OK. So you can save some components from the hardware kit and make it onto the next bag. So, if you, so you, rather than put one on both sides, you've, you could just put it on one side yeah. and then have it for the next Plain side. on the back. Yeah. Yep. Isn't she clever, our baffer? I was just panicked, <laughs> says Princess. And Ian says he's enjoying the show. Lovely makes today. Oh. Right, so with the bias binding, you're yeah. going to clip it to the edge, but you're going to open it up so that's the right side of the bias binding to the right side of the outside yeah. pocket. And you need to open up just that one um, part that one edge. Uh -huh. You're going to sew in the ditch. Mm -hmm. You're going to sew in that ditch all the way along. Okay. Just using a standard stitch length as yeah. well. Now it's very slippy, the bi um, bias binding, because I wanted it shiny. Yeah. So you do need to clip it or pin it. Oh, okay. Okay, and then you're just going to fold it over to the back. Uh huh. Sorry, am I going too fast for the cameras? No, you're all right. Okay. We'll tell her. <laughs> we'll tell her if she misses anything.
Okay. So you're going to top stitch from this side. Right. Now, if you're not a confident top stitch, I will do at least um, just over one eighth of an inch away from this edge here. Right. That's where the on the bias spine you will be low. On the bias spine. On the bias spine thing. Yeah. If you're a confident top stitch, I'll do one eighth. I'm just going to do just off one right. eighth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a confident stitcher, though. I am, but I, I looked at my um, my top stitching in there on early show, and it's like, mm mm mm. Perhaps you need new glasses. Um, I don't need new glasses. Oh, do you? Yeah. I've just got mine. You've not mentioned yeah. anything. I do like them. We were actually um, Princess Me and um, Lynn Turret and all that lot were talking about it because they're all my admin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Talk about my glasses. Yeah, how much they suited you and oh, stuff. Oh, thank you. I've ordered them in blue now as well. Have you? Yeah. Well, long. Round in a roundabout way. I've had to order them from Germany. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, so the theory is you should have caught the binding on yeah, the back. Yeah, in theory. Oh, you did, you did. Yeah. I did, but, but I did stitch in the middle. Actually, nobody's going to see that back side. Let's not go on about that side <laughs> again. The <laughs> other side, the wrong side. You're not going to actually see it because it's inside the pocket. It's inside it? the pocket. Yeah. So next, you're going to trim off the excess. Now we need to flip this over. Um, no, we don't. No, <laughs> we just need to open it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you need a quilter's roll. Right. And you're going to measure in. So just bear with me. Got a bit of reading to do. Right, so from the straight edge. Yeah. Because the other pocket on the back will be the opposite way. Right. So wh when I say straight long edge, it means that edge. Right. And when I say the straight short edge, that's the bottom edge. Right, not the wonky one on that no, side then. No, no. Right. So we're going to measure in from this edge here first, yeah, yeah. Um, and we're going to measure in, uh, 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 yep, three and a three quarters. Why do you always choose to do it in three? If you did two or four, you'd be much better off. <laughs> it's where it sits. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to measure from the bottom edge, yeah. um, five and a half. Right. See, that's an ad average size, one, two, three, four, five. And a half. And a half. So, so this is where the one magnetic snap will land. Oh, okay. So, we've got no padding on this section here, so we're going to have to pad it out. Yeah. So you're going to have to get some leftover fusible fleece. Yeah. About that much to pad out the next bit. Yeah. Right, so you're going to get your washer, so you've got the, they're strong, so you've got a male side, which is the nipple side. Oh, here we go, <laughs> here we go, we've done this on purpose. <laughs> and then you've got the female side, which is the, the bit that's missing, and then you've got some washers on the back, which is for your prongs. So you're going to get one of the washer. And you've got a hole in the centre and you're going to pop yeah. that over that dot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> no, it's not wrong. It's just that Hannah can't cope with it. <laughs> so I popped it over the centre and where yep. you've got two mark holes yes. next to it, <laughs> yeah. you meant to draw through those yeah. and you should be left with... Um, 101. Yeah, like Morse code. Yeah. Pop the in and you're going to cut just on those two dashed lines right. nothing further now if you've got some fray stop obviously use fray yeah, stop yeah. okay next thing you're going to do is just fold this in half and put two snips in it because we can stretch this right So you're going to get your mail, which is the thinner side of your magnetic snap. Uh -huh. Flip this over and pop that through the two holes at the back. Da -da 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 -da. It's yeah. coming. You can sing while you're doing it or not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do that at home. <laughs> and then you're going to pop the fleece over the top. Now right. my fleece is just getting into my seam there, so I'm just going to trim it back. Trim that down, yeah. Pop your washer on top, and if 
you want, you can bend them out or in. Okay, what are you doing? I'm just out. doing out. Yeah. It's easier for my fingers. Okay. Then if you've got some tape, put some tape over yeah. the top, yeah. but we haven't got time for that. Okay. You close it up and base stitch around that. Right. So I'm not going to do that because obviously yeah. I ain't got time for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so you're going to get your B piece. Right. No, your A piece, right. sorry. You've got a small side at the bottom of the... I can hear that fly. It's just gone right past you, that's <laughs> no. why. You've got the bottom edge here, which is the smaller side. Yeah. You're going to pop the matching B to the matching pocket and pop those on. Right. And clip that into place. Okay, so, and then we're just going to base stitch that into place. You must base stitch this bit. Right. I'm doing it in within the seam allowance on a high stitch length. Uh-huh. <clears throat> what size stitch you use when you're basing? Like, that's just massive, isn't it? This has gone up to a stitch length number five. Okay. You can use up to whatever the sewing machine. Can. Some go, to, yeah. some go up to seven now, don't they? Do they? Yeah. I must admit, I did. Um, I was eyeing up the one Gary brought in the other day. Oh, it was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. The one that's got the telly, so you can watch me while you're sewing. <laughs> you can't watch it while you're sewing, can you? Oh no, you have to stop while you're sewing, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I was eyeing it up. You are the machine or him? Not Gary. Oh, because Emma's in love with Gary. Oh, sorry, Emma. <laughs> 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 right, so then you're going to get your pattern piece and B piece. Yeah. The larger part of the two short ends is the base. Yeah. And obviously, you're going to match these two sides up, but you're going to have some dog ends. Oh, it's like when you're quilting and it's you've got a bit of... Don't, so don't match it with the top and don't match it with the no. bottom. No. So you're going to have on the bottom piece is going to have an overhang and yeah. then your C piece is going to overhang on the um, the bottom two, yeah. piece. You're going to clip that into place and you're going to sew that three eighths of an inch right. seam allowance. But it's nice and stable isn't it because you put your iron on interfacing on the back so you haven't got to worry about being off the off the grain or anything. No. change stitch length. So I'm doing a standard stitch length for 2.4. Yeah. And then if you've got time, you give that a good press. Yeah. You need the seam allowance to point this way. Right. And you're going to top stitch one eighth of an inch away. Okay. So I'm going to knock my, st um, my stitch length up to a 3.5. Okay. See, that's lovely and neat. Yeah, because I'm concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so top stitch across that, then you're going to pop that to one side. Right. And repeat the same process for the next back. Okay. However, I'm not going to do the pocket. No. I'm just going to sew. Ta da. So the B and the C together. Right. So it's a plain back piece. That way. Yeah, so if you're going to make it the way you, you make it, you'd have the pocket on this one as well, but you're yeah. going to make it just plain if you want to do it that way. You yeah. Can do. It also means that you are left with some zipper. Um, you're left with, sorry, zipper's American. You're left yeah. with some zip. Yeah. 
you're left with um, but part of the binding and part oh. um, the magnetic So when snap. you're filming your youtube things, do you film them in English or American? Do you say zip or do you just say zip? Or do you say both? I say both. Yeah, sorry. No, don't apologise. I'm having some zip pulls made oh, with you? my own design on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm hoping they could make... What, so the zip pull will be your face? No. Um. <laughs> no, it will be um, just some, tell us, just something tell us. related to the one of the projects in October. Oh, wow. Yeah. I still think it should be your face. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that fly's very interested in you. It keeps buzzing around your machine. Oh, God. It's gone now. It's gone over there again now. You're saying no smell? Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of it like that. I thought it was somebody who'd been reincarnated who liked sewing. <laughs> or somebody who was attracted to, you, attracted to your smell. Uh. Oh, we go. Dawn says, I'll lend you my black kit and Betty to sort out that blue bottle. She loves hunting them down. <laughs> Lovely to see John and Becky back together, dream team. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. Right, so I've touched the B and the A together on the back. Yeah. So the next thing you're going to do is get your base out of base. It's all about the base, about the base. <laughs> it's a song. I was talking about the base. I, was yeah. talking, I couldn't figure out what you were singing. Your I base. was singing, I was singing. Yeah. You, know, you know all the notes just in the wrong order. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, okay, so the next thing you're going to do is on the wrong side, we're going to measure in yeah. and draw some lines. Right. You're going to measure in three eighths. Yeah. One, two, two three. In counting three eighths. Yeah. Cause remember, I, I'm, I've grown up with centimetres. All right, call me old now. <laughs> <laughs> you're smelly and I'm old. <laughs> That's nice. I'm off the office. <laughs> Ah, oh, you wouldn't. Believe you me. <laughs> one day I'll be old and smelly, won't I? Okay. All right, not one day. <laughs> and then we're going to measure from the two long sides. But yeah. this time we don't have to do a long line. We're just measuring. Okay. So we get a crossover. Um, Rosina, the pressing mat, it, you weren't meant to find it because it's, it's out of stock at the moment. We're waiting for new ones to come in. Okay, so those marks that I've just done is stitch lines, where you've got to stop and start. Right. So we need to find the base, um, the centre of the base. Yeah. Where did you put the zip in then? Once the, um, the fusible place. Okay. No. I'm not going to get that no, far, no, no, but no, I'm no, going no, to talk to about the... the one, but it's all in instructions, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm just going to talk about this zipper because all three zips are on this one zip. Right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So we've got the, the centre, yeah. then you're going to get the base and you're going to fold that in half and snip into the seam allowance just by one eighth yeah. on the centres on the both two long sides. Then you're going to get that right sides together matching up the two centres. Yeah. Okay. Billy says, I'm watching. Becky always does brilliant demos. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Billy. I've read some beautiful messages out there. Have you? Yeah, some really nice. What, for you? Yeah. We haven't had them in here. Where have you got them? <laughs> the private ones. <laughs> oh? <laughs> My husband. <laughs> oh, you see, he's still in love with me, isn't he? <laughs> he Six is. Six ninjas in love with me, isn't he? <laughs> Right, so you've got these two crossovers here where the crosses are. Yeah. You're going to drop your needle and start there. Right. You're not going to sew anywhere in this section here. Okay. And you're going to finish on that part there. Right there right. You're not going to cross over. Okay. <clears throat> He's got a proper job, Ginger Ninja. He works in a bank. He does. But works from home. Well, yeah, per works from home now, yeah. 
Permanently. Is he not going back to the office? No, they've sold the offices. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then a lot of people, my friend Maureen, who works, she's um, organises carers in the northwest. She, she was, they, they've shut their office down as well. They're given some uh, ink for their printer and yeah. they go somewhere to do photocopying. But that, you know what I mean? They haven't got an office and they won't be going back to an office. No, no, no. They're, they've said it's worked quite efficiently. Yeah. So they've actually found people work better. To work better at from home? Yeah. Then, have they? Yeah. Does he still put his suit on then? No. <laughs> no. Does he have to do he, Zoom he, calls? No, not two customers. Oh, his, okay. his head of um, headquarters. All oh, right. Yeah. Right, okay. okay. So, where we stopped, yeah. you need a friction pen. Right. Where, it, where we stopped, you're going to fold it on the right side yeah. and just mark because we're now going to top stitch only between these two marks. Oh, okay. But you are going to have to reverse. Now normally you don't reverse um, your stitches, back right. stitch on top stitching, but you're going to have to on right, this okay. one. Pat says, lovely seeing Becky back. Great clear instructions. Wouldn't expect anything else from her. Bless her. That says Pat. And then Claire says, I've made Becky's artist case bag, artist case slash organiser. I forgot I've stored things away. Really good instructions, thank you. Oh, thank you. And just to let you know, the seam allowance is pointing down towards the base. Right. And it's come undone again. What they, oh. Keeps popping out. It's fine. I think all our machines need servicing because they've been going for over a year now, haven't they really, with no one. Oh no, Pam says, I've got to go now, Pim Menihani. I'll catch up later, the man's just arrived to fix the boiler. Oh, blimey. Oh yeah, you need to get that fixed yeah, before the winter. Definitely. Okay, and then you're going to just repeat the same process with this one. Okay. But I'll just talk you yeah, through yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, because we need to make it onto the Okay, next one, so once you? you've popped these two together, yeah. you're then going to get your fusible fleece. Right. Cut the two centre, uh, the two half um pieces out the the bit <laughs> yeah start again <laughs> cut out the two pieces <clears throat> no right okay so you've got your fusible fleece right you're going to fold it in half yeah <laughs> and then you're going to cut the measurement out of the two right so this will be your box corner got area it. got it then you're going to fuse this to the wrong side of this yeah then following the instructions you're going to implement a zip vertically. implement Okay, yeah. you, you never used to use words like that. <laughs> You're going to install a install? zip. Install? <laughs> used to be put in, didn't it? I'll put your zip in here. Yeah, you're going to put your zip in yeah, here. Yeah, that's better. Then you're going to pop your male part of your uh, magnetic snap in. Onto there, yeah. And then you're going to pop your hardware um, for your handmade. Yeah. And then if you wanted to, you can implement the, um, the vertical yeah. zip here. And then follow the instructions okay, for the rest. perfect. And you use that black <coughs> zip for all three of the zips then? You do. So Are there three headers then? Yeah. Oh. I've, I've installed them near enough where they need to be cut. Right. So you've got like six and a half inches zip there. You just cut. I'll cut this. <gasps> See, um, I've I'm not using my dressmaking scissors. I'm using what yeah. I basically cut, fusible fleece yeah, and that stuff. Yeah. Like your household scissors. Yeah. Something. Right. And just cuts through. Then... My ideal thing is to get a lighter on that or fray check right. just to seal off the end. Yeah. Then you're doing another six and a half inches and then the rest of the zipper is left for the okay. um, top bridge. So just make sure that your headers are in the right place yep. when you start chopping. Yeah. And then the only other thing is you've got your metal piece of hardware which goes on the main outer zip. Right. If you flip it over, I've, I've actually popped all the screws into all of the <gasps> little pieces. You need a screwdriver, which is like glasses screwdriver. Yeah. To, and then you just basically take that out and then um, pop it back in. Right. So you feed this, fold it over, yeah. feed it in, and then pop and the screw. It out. Yeah. Brilliant. And then it doesn't come off. Yeah. Um, Sue said, My husband tried to claim my sewing room, trying to claim he needs it to work from home till I pointed out he retired three years before. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, Jackie's loving your demonstrations. No, I haven't had my sewing machine service yet because I've got to go all the way to Worcester to do it. And when I went to Worcester to get Hannah's present, I hadn't got the address of the man to take it to, so it's still <laughs> under the bed. Yeah, Becky has learned a new word, implement, says Billy. <laughs> right, okay. So we're moving on to the next we're moving on to the next bag now. Yep. I'll do a round up near the end. Now, just so you know, we have to finish a little bit earlier on this one because we have to run down the road to Yarn Lane. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. We have to leave you here to pack up and we run to the other studio. No, that's fine. Right. Right, okay. So now we've moved on to the ruck well, it's not called a rucksack, is it? It's called the backpack, the commuter backpack. backpack, right? Yep. It can be called a rucksack. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. I think it's beautiful. So my advice is, as soon as you get the zip out, sew over the two ends of the zipper so you don't lose the two yeah. zip pulls. Perfect. Because you, you only need this one. Right. Because that just goes all the way across the top of the bag. You do. It? Yep. So I'm not going to use those. We're going to work on the, the, the flap and the, the actual closure of the bag. Right. <clears throat> is this what this one looks simpler to make? Am I wrong? It is. Yeah. It is so much simpler. Plus... In the pattern, I tell you how to do a non-bias bind edge inside. You know when um, uh, some bags you use bias binding to yes, see yes, it yes, all. Yes, yes. I tell you not to do that. However, it can be done. Right. A lot of people have done it. So you tell us not to do it, but you can do it. But no, if you are watching the videos, because there's several videos for this, if you're watching the videos and you haven't got the confidence, go to the bias binding. Right, um, okay, method. okay, okay. Yeah, I'd automatically go. Only because the way I was trained, I'd automatically nearly hit you there. Yeah, well, it was on your floor. <laughs> um, uh, I'd automatically go to bias binding because that's what I was taught to do, sort of thing. But. No, this this bag you actually build the lining around. Okay. The bag, um, it's pretty strange, but yeah. good. Right. Okay. So you've got now these have got letters. You've got your two long pieces. Now in the pattern, I say not to interface. Right. Um, However, I have interfaced this because um, how I had to cut this, it was slightly on the stretch. Right, OK. So if your fabric is a bit stretchy, interface it. Yeah. If in doubt on bag making, you always do the iron on interfacing. I yeah. Would say, yeah. Right, so on the wrong side, you're um, pulling the two long edges into the centre and giving that a good press. Yeah. And you should have two one-inch strips. You've got your quick-release clasp. Yeah. Now... I'm not going to do this part. I say top stitch um, a quarter of an inch away. That holds down these two pieces. Okay, so you still, it's raw on the back. Then, it's raw yeah, on yeah, the yeah, back, yeah. yeah. So we're going to work with the um, male part of the quick release. The Hasn't got nipples, that one, though. No, it's got legs. Mm. Yeah, it's got what? <laughs> legs. <laughs> what, three? <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. They didn't notice. Right, okay. So you've got a little bar at the top. Yeah. You're going to feed this in. And the bar should come to around about two inches. Now right. I'm just going to approximately eyeball that. Now you're going to need some, um, my favourite tape. Quilter's tape. You see, it, it looks odd pushing it through because normally you'd have, finished, you'd have finished the strap before you attach the hardware normally, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, but no. No, not in my case. I'm a bit backwards. <laughs> You're going to pop. Oh, brace yourself, Becky. I've just been invited out for dinner in friend, by friends in your village. I, I apologise to the inhabitants in advance, says Sue. How Ooh. does she know where you live? Uh, if it's so from my club, they all would... say it, just says Sue. No, they... Yeah. Anyway, so go on, so you just turned it over. Yeah, so I'm going to eyeball should... round about two inches. Right, eyeball, but you've got a ruler. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would draw it on normally yeah. and stick that into place. Okay. Then you're going to run some quilter's tape about half an inch away from that um, male part of that yeah. clasp. Down the, Down the back on the wrong side. Right. And I'm going to do both sides. Oh, okay. You won't have to do both sides because you would have done the... Um, Top stitching. Top stitching. Yeah. I'm going to peel that off. Now, can I be a pain and pinch one of those quilters rolls behind me? Yeah, yeah, that's what they're there for. Ah, right, okay. This one. 
<laughs> stalk. You're going to measure in from the sides two and a quarter inches. Right. Oh, you're laughing. I haven't said anything. <laughs> no, but I was counting in my head. <laughs> and then you're going to pop the wrong side of the um, strap that we just oh, made. Oh, I and see. That's going. why you don't have to finish the underside, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You're going to do both edges, both ones. Right. I'm not going to do that no, because no, you obviously don't, you we haven't got time. You do both of them. Yeah. yeah, you do both of them. Yeah. You're going to top stitch one eighth of an inch away, all the way down. Right. And across. Right. Now I, I tend to find because of this walking foot's quite wide, I have to stop around about half an inch. Away. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then basically top stitch. Oh, all and the way that's up. why you didn't stitch it. You only stuck it down before because you need stops because you're going to catch it all down there. Yeah. Got it. I'll yeah. just do that now. <clears throat> Knocking my stitch length up to a three point five. Okay. So if he's working from home, will he have the telly on? Yeah, but he's apparently in um, a meeting, so it's on... Qu Quiet, he can't hear what we're saying about no, him. No, not at the moment. He'll watch your back, though. Yeah. I'll make him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's ages ago I met him. Was it, was it a festival quilt? Festival quilts, quilt, yeah. That was the festival quilt before um, Stitches. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we have, yes, exactly. Now, I have missed something out here. I'm gonna... Oh, on purpose? No. Now, I struggled putting the handle in. So, in the instructions, I oh, tell you, yes, 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 yes. I tell you to um, stick them two together and yeah. then push it on. But this kept moving around, so I found on picking the Pacific area that it needs to fall in. Right. So I'm just going to sew. I've got the handle. Yeah. Two long edges into the centre. Yeah. Then you're going to fold it again, yeah. bring the two folded sides, and then you're going to top, top stitch, stitch both sides. Ten minutes left, so you know. Maybe. Yep. I won't turn it up the speed. What? I won't turn it no, up no, the no, speed. No, 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 no. You find I'm not trying to rush you. I just no, no, no. You're aware. That's all. I used to turn it up, but I haven't got the confidence now. <laughs> What's happened then? Is it just been being at home? Remember, I sewed through my finger. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. No. Right, so I've done the handle, then I'm going to measure down um, where it tells you to put the, the handle. So from the top of the flap. Uh, sorry, three and a half inches. Yep. Yeah. Three and a half inches, so there's a half there. I'm going to mark. And then just unpick about an inch. Right, this is an easier way of doing this it is than a trying lot to make it stay there when you're doing the stitching. Yeah. Here. Now, if you've got the confidence, just do the way that it tells you to in the video and yeah, yeah, in yeah. the. And you're going to pop this inside there. Uh huh. And then you're just going to. Top stitch. Top stitch there. over that. Okay. And you do the same theory on the other side. Of course. Now I'm going to put the hardware in at the bottom of the, the flap. Uh -huh. Okay, so that would be, and then you obviously repeat the same process for yep. that one. Mm -hmm. Obviously we're not going to do that. Then you're going to get your outside slip pocket and you're going to sew these two right sides together, yeah. both interfaced, 
and you're can going you to iron onto that PU then obviously you can yeah um, I had to put a press and cloth on top mm -hmm. um, but I didn't press from that side I pressed from no, yeah. this side so you're going to do the straight edge uh-huh and you're just going to do three eighths of an inch okay and then you're going to fold it out and top stitch it right <clears throat> okay, so fold it out. Now you would press this, but yeah. I'm obviously not going to press no. it. I haven't got time. Now you would press it from the line inside if you're going to press it. Of course. You want no creases because it will put the um, the straps off at the bottom. Right. So you're going to top stitch um, on a longer stitch length. I'm going to do stitch length number four because it's PU. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to do one eighth of an inch away from the edge. Okay. not the best of top stitching. <laughs> Stop here. <laughs> okay, then you would go round and just base stitch the two pieces together. Of course, so then use just one piece of fabric, yeah. Right, so I'm not going to do the next bit, but you've got the the male part, the, no. the female part. You're going to feed this on. And I think it tells you to feed it on two inches. Right. Yep. So you're going to do two inches and fold that over. Then you're going to stick that there. Like you did with the other strap the other way. Yeah. This is actually a slip pocket. So you can actually put a um, that size tablet in. Oh, OK. Pocket. Yeah. Yep. And then you're going to put the other one. You're going to top stitch uh -huh. as close as you can get to the, um, the lock here. Yeah. And then obviously you're going to build up the bag that way. Do you want me to show you how to install the handmade? Yeah, how many minutes I've got? Oh, only two. Two oh. minutes, that's right. So you can okay. talk us through it if you want right, to. Okay. Yep. Sorry. okay, so you measure up from the centre bottom Yeah. up to, and I think it just lands just around about here. If you've cut this, has actually how I've cut it out. Yeah. Then you've got the handmade tag. So the handmade tag's got two prongs on the back. Yeah. You're going to pop those so they fork out at the back. Right. Then you're going to pop the washer on and work out which, which holes, holes they fall into. Yeah. And then you need to work out which one is the centre hole out of all of that. Uh-huh. Then you will pop that over your mark, draw the two holes that it falls into, uh -huh. cut into it, pop that through, Obviously, with the right, in, right, right way, way up. up yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put the washer on, put your tape on, yeah. and then basically carry on. Brilliant. Is there anything we need to... What, is there, are there any tricky bits that we might think, oh, I don't know how to do that, or if we've done I've, bad I've actually talked through... The most trickiest bit is what people are going to see is the um, the lining. Oh, OK. And if they're frightened, go down the bias binding yeah. route. OK. So now, if they go to RJF Makes YouTube... Yeah. They can watch all of this on their, like, yeah, prop, so I mean, I know we've only done little bits today, but they can watch the whole thing. There's an hour and a half video. Well, it mounts up to an hour and a half. It's nine videos, nine short videos. Yeah, yeah. So, basically, this was my first pattern, and I wanted to ease everybody in yeah. to how the video instructions will happen. Brilliant. That's ever so, thank you ever so much. No, it's all right. Brilliant, as usual. <laughs> um, I don't think, have we got a date for you next? Oh, you have? August 25th. Am I in that day? I don't know. No, what day of the week is it? Um, I don't know. Oh, honestly. <laughs> you can't get the guess, please, please, can you? Anyway, thank you ever so much. It's That's really, right. really lovely to see you. Right, okay, so what do you want me to cap, recap first, then? Okay, the bundle with the hardware is here. So what you get is you get in here, you get the instructions, you get the zip, you get the webbing. What was the webbing for, then? 
The straps at the back. Oh, straps at the back. Then you get the hard, these, they're not, what are they called? Easy release. Quick release. Quick release. And you get the zip and you get the instructions at $29.99. And the handmaid's in there as well somewhere. It is, yeah. There's the handmaid there. At £29.99. But you, get, you do get the instructions in there as well. So that's that. Instructions on their own. Uh, this one. £11.50. £11.50. Oh, uh, Simon says, great show as always. What machine was Becky using? She's using the... 720 Pro. And the 720 Pro. Pro. It's on the live page now. It's on the live page now. Righty ho. That's the pattern on its own. Bundles. I've got time to do this yet. Yeah, the one that you were just seeing <coughs> being made. So this one, you get your half a metre of your PU, you get half a metre of your Tula, half a metre of your Tula, and your metre and a half of your cream. And that makes that one, £27.99. Obviously, that's just the fabric. It's not the hardware or the instructions. We've got the Riley Blake Notting Hill, where you get half a metre of the flags, half a metre of the PU, half a metre of the uh, London... Um, Landmarks, plus a metre and a half of your rose. Or your pink, your blush, sorry, your blush. Uh, that one's 29 99 And then last but not least, the uh, grey one. So you get your PU, you get your mode of flowers, your mode of checkerboard, and your rose and hubble grey. 29 99 that one. Very quickly, I've just got to recap the other bag, which is the Walk With Me bag that you saw earlier. That's that one. So, you get the um, instructions and the bundle of hardware, £39.99. You get the satin uh, bias binding, the, the zips, everything you need is in there. Pattern on its own is this one. Oh, uh, Ian says, uh, really enjoyed the show today. Thanks both. This is my favourite partnership on Sewing Street. <laughs> Pattern on its own is about to sell out. Laura says, so proud of you, Becky. Well done, says Laura. <laughs> and then um, Karen says, hi, Becky and John. So glad to see you both back together. Two of my favourites. Great shows. Oh, you make them. Tula pink bundle here. So you get your cotton canvas about to sell out. Co uh, cotton canvas, cotton, and then your tula pink roses. Two and a half metres, one, one and a half. £20 and £19. That'd just be a lovely bundle to have, whether you're going to make the bag or not. Do you know what I mean? That's lovely. And then last but not least, we've got the um, moody one, I call this one. <laughs> so you get the cotton canvas, the melange, and you get the batik with that one. Oh, sorry, I've been a bit too quick. There you go. Margaret says, fantastic morning. Thank you, Becky. Oh. Uh, walk with me bag, wine. Right, okay, very, very quickly, I need to give you tomorrow's menu because we're going to Yarn Lane now. Here is Sewing Street menu. Amber makes... Oh, I've got Rebecca Reed. <laughs> Amber makes sexy cushions. Rebecca Reed. Nine o'clock pre-cuts. More anger make... Uh, anger. <laughs> Amber makes with Rebecca Reed. Quilting rules and tools. <clears throat> rulers and tools at 11. And fabric bundles under £15. Last time we did fabric bundles under £15. It was phenomenally busy. Right, we're going off to Yarn Lane now. Um, if you've already bought something from me here today, your PMP is covered on Yarn Lane. Also, the competition also includes Yarn Lane. I forgot to tell you that earlier. It does, we've had confirmation, it does do that. So now, if you bought anything from me this morning, your PMP is paid for in Yarn Lane. If you've never bought from Yarn Lane before, you just sign in the normal way you'd sign in for Sewing Street. Uh, if you're watching on the telly, stay where you are. If you're watching on YouTube, the, uh, uh, the website, or Facebook Live, you do now need to go and find the Yarn Lane version. Thank you to Becky and thank you to you for watching. Uh, if I don't, if you're not coming to Yarn Lane with me, it's Sam Sabido, she's got all her lovely crochet going on, uh, all her granny squares and everything. If you're not coming with me, I'll see you at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you are coming with me, I'll see you in three minutes down at Yarn Lane.